Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. Very happy to be here for some more Bellatro. We're working our way through the uh, various stakes on the decks. We're currently on Nebula deck on Red Stake here, which is the second difficulty of eight. Kind of rotating through the 15 decks with the eight different stakes. Been fun so far. All right, Nebula deck, start with the Telescope Voucher and one consumable slot. Celestial Packs always contain the planet card for your most played poker hands. So we're going to kind of try to focus on one or two hand types here. Before we get kicked in here, let me get caught every on your wonderful support. Thanks for being here, everybody. What's up, Sykes7, Chemo Nerd, Motarkas, good to see you. Hey there, Carnosaur, Zatung, Fluffy Kirby, French Fry Apocalypse, Sub Tharson, and all the other cool early people. Here we go. So for most played hand type, uh, two pair is definitely somewhat reliable. A flush can be two, but I kind of like two pair here. That's what I'm going to go for. Well, for the opening hand, I want a full house, but there it is. I want to play a hand that clears the blind in one hand on the first uh, first 300 blind. That's just a good policy to go for. <laughs> Upgrade the level of the first discarded poker hand each round. That is interesting. Because, like, we can just discard high card and get level up there. Probably, probably best just to save for interest here, though. I don't know, this seems kind of spicy. I'm going to try it. I normally wouldn't buy this early until I start building income, but uh, I was curious. Okay, so we got two pair here. It's going to be our most played. So let's just discard here. And this will be a uh, high card leveled up. Then we're going to play two pair. Yeah, pair is another uh, solid upgrade here. It's going to be a lot of um, a lot of functional upgrade. It feels like. Let's search for a flush here to see if we can uh, rock this out. And there's two pair again. Yo, Avador, I think so much for that tier 2 42 month subscription. Zantung, thanks for 14 as well. Really appreciate that. Oh, we got 7, 8, 9, 10 here. I'm going to search for a straight flush just because I can. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should play just a flush here. Yeah. No, I want straight flush if I can get it. It's not likely, but it's possible. Yeah, let's just play straight here. 7, 8, 9, 10 jack, rather than flush. Yo, Vanilla Rodeo. Thanks for six months, dude. Appreciate that half year. Thank you, thank you. Wow. All right, we're just going to let this ride. I mean, Splash is definitely nice. Um, early here, but I want to start building up income, and I think Splash kind of makes it, well, it makes it interesting. Ace, two, three, four, five on deck. I'm not trying to be a straight deck here. Pretty hard to turn that down, though. It's a good opener. I'm gonna discard. Let's go for a high card here. Grab the upgrade. 
Okay, we're gonna go two pair here, sixes and jacks. It's a little bit um weird playing two two pair here. But we'll see, we'll see. Like, overall, two pair is not the most efficient uh, hand for getting here, so until we get Celestial Packs, um, this may not work. Okay, let's search for a full house here. I'm out of discards, so I think we might be washed here. Yeah, we need something with Multiplier. Interesting. So maybe not the Burnt Joker on the first uh, first pick. Oh, polychrome Joker. Alright, if we pull a 9 here, uh, straight with two face cards is enough to um, clear. Okay, we got a king draw as well. Nice, nobody. That sounds awesome. Great run. Well, there's four nines in the deck. Okay, there's a nice flush here. I don't think it clears, but it will uh, set us up for two hand clear, which is acceptable. 296, huh? 910 Jack, Queen King. Hey there, Jimbos. Let's just go next round here. Ballot Joker is pretty good. I think we're going to look for a full house here. We didn't get it. It's tough. Two pair again. Gonna be a weird run, man. You can just tell. Out there with one hand remaining. Probably should have bought the ballot joker. I just want a joker that has um, a multiplier on it. Let's see if we can survive this. If we can't, I'm definitely okay with a, a new run here. Let's just discard the clubs here. Five, six, seven, eight on hand, four to the heart flush as well. Gotta have a couple decent hands here to pull this off. 240 is not even half the blind. Yeah, okay, we're four to a flush again. Let's do one more discard here. Okay, kings with a three. Let's just play out the pair, because I kind of need the flush to finish off, I think. Might not even be good enough. With that ten, it probably is. Two ninety-two, all right, eight short, dang. Tough openers today. All right, if we don't get some kind of Joker multiplier on this round, we're going to be dead. So there's that. Okay, two pairs of the most play with straight as well. 
Um, I guess we gotta go Celestial Pack here. It's counting straight, so it probably goes from top to bottom here. We'll try. Yeah, it leaves me at 15. I'm gonna see if we can pull off a miracle here and uh, win this round. I doubt it. something. The mercy of the draw here. Got nines and fives with the two. Alright, tens and threes with the seven. I'm very surprised we actually survived this blind, but we certainly did. Okay, Multiplier on Hearts, gotta have it. I'm gonna go for the Jumbo Celestial here too, because we gotta get two pair leveled up. Yeah, let's go ahead and do High Card as well. Well, I think I'm going to push for a heart flush here, which is not statistically great, but um, if we get a heart flush and we have this card, it should be all right. Okay, well, tens and kings is also fine. At least we got two hearts there. We can get another eight multiplier. Acceptable. Aces and threes, same deal, that'll clear. Hmm. Let's go buffoon pack here. Boop. Okay, each play card with club suit gives 1.5 mole. Okay, so the uh, uh, suit is going to change there. I kind of want to sell the Lusty Joker to pick up Brainstorm, because Brainstorm has a really high value later on, but uh, at the same time, I probably shouldn't. We don't have an awesome synergy for it right now. This is a big card, though. Not clubs, huh? Ouch. Okay, I think I'm just going to play this pair of tens. We'll just leave the club here. Okay, at least we got the plus chips there. We got four, five, six going on here. Mercy. Ouch, dude. No discards left. Okay, so pair of fives with two, four, six. If I can get any kind of scoring with clubs here, we're going to be fine. There it is. Red card probably wins this run, but even with that, I'm not gonna. 
Okay, what are we have for blinds right now? So we just got the new voucher. We'll buy this before we buy anything, but at the moment I would rather um, rather wait so we can start building interest. Okay, so now in heart score, we get extra multipliers. So it'd be really nice if we could pull out a heart flush here. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, I hesitate to spend here, but I think we need another Joker, so. Grab the voucher, which will definitely save us money long term. And we're still at five, so we get interest here. Nice. Huh. This is actually kind of reliable. This is also okay, too. I think I should just take Swashbuckler just to get extra multiplier here. Okay, we're on diamonds here. Diamonds and hearts, what we want. We got six, seven, eight, ten. I like to have a spade flush right out. Let's just play it. Not bad. full of queens. I think three of a kind will be adequate here. I guess we had no incentive not to discard. Definitely gets us there. Okay, nice. We got the double synergy here with the heart. And we got misprint too. That's a good one. Okay, now we should be able to get to a point where we can actually save up a little bit. Start with zero discards, fine. We're on hearts here. So we're going to go kings and queens with three. Nice. That'll definitely do it right here. gain plus one hand per round. I definitely want that, but I want to save up first. Yeah, we got we got rounds to do this. Uh, Celestial pack is also tempting, but let's get to uh, an amount of interest that makes sense here. Okay, we're on diamonds and hearts. Okay, we're four to a heart flush right now, so I'm going to play sixes with an eight three. I do believe that a heart flush will win this here. Yo, DGBDs, thank you so much for 61 months. Glad you approved. Thanks, dude. I thought that was going to be a better scoring hand. Probably got a low misprint roll is what happened. Looking on diamonds here. It's six diamonds left. That's not that many. That's enough though. We'll find one. 
Uh, kings and queens is going to win here. Let's do that. I'd like to keep two pair of my highest played hands so we can get it leveled up with these celestial packs once we have interest built up. Dude. Hmm. I rolled the plus three molt. Okay, fair enough. I, mean, I want this and I want this, but right now that put me in a really bad spot for interest. So let's uh, let's do the next blind. I'm gonna skip on buying the Jumbo Buffoon pack. Oh, I think one more Joker would be really nice. Okay, we're on club suit here. Heart suit, hearts and clubs. Um. It's a pretty nice two pair here. Play the king out too. Like it's not the highest scoring uh, two, but we get the multipliers here. It's going to be worth something. 4,000, pretty good, pretty good. We got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, with a heart and a club. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it's just pretty reliable, Barwin. I'd say two pairs is probably one of the most reliable uh, handsets. I don't think that two pairs all overall that powerful, but for this deck in particular, being able to level up guaranteed with the celestial packs um, is good. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna buy voucher for plus one hand. I'm gonna buy blueprint here. Okay, now I have our jokers filled. We're gonna probably move the blueprint around depending on what uh, what we get. Lose one dollar per card played. That's rude. Okay, we got a club suits here. Give multiplier and hearts. We do have two, three, four, five with two hearts. That's um tempting to fish for. Do a discard here. All right, two, three, four, five, six with four hearts. So we're gonna put the blueprint here. We have a 16 extra multiplier. Uh, we could technically get more at the misprint. We could also get a lot less. So I think that's going to be uh, correct. We're pretty good. We should be able to win on the next hand. Okay, Club Flush. Boom, get roasted. I'd like to start getting level, but I also want to start building my interest back up, so let's just go next round here. Alright, we're on diamond suit here. There's only one diamond. Two diamonds in play. We can go for full house with that. Let's uh, check it out. Nice. Leaves a decent diamond draw here, too. So we'll leave it on the ancient joker. Definitely not bad there. Three of a kind probably doesn't do it here. And we do have the heart multiplier. Let's uh let's drop. Let's 
drop the non-diamonds here. Yeah, cool. So we got nines full of threes, and we'll put this on the heart multiplier, because we got two there. That'll do. Now we're cooking. This run started off rather grim, and it's um, a little bit stable right now, at least. Yeah, I'm not uh, not wanting to buy anything here right now. What do we got here? Club suit. All face cards to buff, whatever. Okay, we got clubs, and we have a club flush, so this is going to be awesome. Awesome. That's the one right there, 30k. That's kind of interesting. Temperance is also money right here. I'm going to buy and use it. Minus two hand size is a bit rough. Let's just go Jumbo Celestial here. Flush seems like pretty okay too. Let's go two pair. It's gonna be more reliable early here. Um, I'm gonna open this jumbo buffoon pack. Ooh. We're gonna sell swashbuckler and add ramen in. Ramen won't be forever, but it's there. Uh, blank voucher does nothing, but it puts another voucher possible in the shop, which is pretty nice. Gives you one extra joker slot. Definitely worth considering here, but... I'm kind of tempted to drop heart joker for stuntman. Plus 300 chips is, like, massive. And if we're doing two pair, it seems, like, a little bit reliable. Though I see myself replacing that, so let's just go to the next round. Okay, what are we on here? Diamond suit? Okay. Uh, no diamonds, huh? We're going to play four, five, six, seven, eight here. And then we should put the blueprint on either the ramen or the misprints. I think I'm going to go for a ramen here, because it's going to multiply and then multiply again. Certainly fine. All right, there's two diamonds. Uh, let's go for the 1.5 molt on diamonds here, and we'll go nines full of aces. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're gonna go four here because we get the multiplier on that. Let's go ahead and um, duplicate the ramen here. Well, at the very least, double Celestial back here. You know, I'm going to take a level up on Flush. Uh, I do like leveling up one thing a lot, but I think it's important to diversify your build. What level's straight right now? Level 2. Let's go... Two pair. Okay. Uh, I think this voucher sounds good. Extra discard. That's more chances to get the things we want. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, upgrade straight flush, too. I think it's unlikely we hit a straight flush, but if we do, uh, it's going to be nice. All 
All right, we've got the heart multiplier on it this time. So anything with hearts is going to be really good. I guess I'll just go sixes and kings with a three. And we're going to get 1.5 multiplier only once here, 1.9 there. So let's go for that. Definitely not bad. Yeah, I know, Ramen. I know. Ramen's just a temporary stopgap for me right now. You know, sevens and fours is going to do it. And since we have two hearts, we're going to put the blueprint here to get three times multiplier instead of the 1.8 something that the Ramen's giving. Uh, Ramen gives a times multiplier, but then loses multiplier for every discard. Dang. Earn $2 per discard if no discards are used by the end of the round. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sell the Lusty Joker here for this. Uh, it's plus 10 multiplier on its own, so we'd have to play three hearts in a hand in order to equal the uh, same value. Just not going to happen. Keep going on two pair here. Arcana pack. Let's go Wheel of Fortune here. Nice. Misprint plus 50 chips. I really do want to get the money on this, so... I think it's better just to play high hand here and go for spade flush. Oh, nice. We got spade multiplier here as well. Does this have uh, incompatible on the delayed gratification? Fair. Fair. Yeah, we're just going to play high card here. And this should be on the multiplier. Hey there, Evil Canadian. Cats Rega, good to see ya. Excited to be here for some more Bellatra today. Gonna be awesome. Alright, now we can go over here for spades. Should be a monster flush. I'm gonna guess we get like 40k something here. Hundred and thirty-four? Ooh, alright. Okay. Hey there, Star in a Jar. What's happening? Yeah, that did escalate quickly. You're not wrong. Uh, Let's go ahead and look at the Jumbo Buffoon. I would replace Ramen here. It's not like a great replace, but it's something. Okay, when Blind is selected, gain plus three hands and lose all discards. Well, there's definitely a synergy with the delayed gratification, right? I'm going to sell ramen. It's effective right now, but uh, this is also good. Don't be diamonds. Okay, we got spades here. Let's leave this bait here. Yeah, this money is not important anymore. Doesn't matter that it's anti synergy. We got 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, our flush level's okay. It'd be a lot nicer if we were spades. Hey, there's the spades. Let's play Fair of 
pair of fives with a 3 2. Alright, here we go. Also, I should have had the um, Joker on the misprint for those previous two hands, so this is obviously going to crush it. Very nice. Four of a kind is very unlikely. Planet cards in your consumable area give 1.5 multiplier for their specified poker hand. Let's go ahead and do that. Planet card. Okay, actually, I want this because getting a planet card in there is exactly how we get the multiplier. Uh, we only have one slot, too, though. I missed that little fact. Uh, okay. What suit do we have? Clubs. No clubs in hand. You can play two pair, queens in, sevens here. Well, there's a club. So we'll go eights and kings with a three. I only have one club here. Is the 1.5 multiplier better than the misprint? I don't think so. Also, is there synergy here? Ooh. Okay. Okay. So I want this at the start to get a load of hands. Aces and twos with a five. Only one club again. All right, we'll keep it rolling then. Okay, two clubs this time, so blueprint's gonna go here. I don't think so, my targets, but you do receive one dollar for every hand left, regardless. So, there's a direct uh, continuation there. Alright, so at the end of each round, I want to put this guy here, because I'm going to get six hands off of this, and I can move it around. Alright, two pair time. Okay. Okay. Popcorn would be good for the moment. We do want to look to replace this, but it's 10 multiplier by itself. I think I'll replace this with the popcorn. It basically gives me three rounds to replace uh, replace the card. Okay, what do we have? Spade suit here? Fine. Alright, let's just play eights with six, five, nine. And I think the blueprint should be on yeah, 20 molt here. Okay, we have club flush, which we're just going to play out. We also do aces and queens. Daisy, do are you a kidder that's hanging out above me here? What's up? What's up with that? All right, we are four to a spade flush here. I kind of just want to play out high hand to go for spade flush, because spade flush will end it. We're two pair, not quite. We're 
played two pairs 17 times. Uh, you know, this might actually be okay by itself. Was pretty good. Nines and fours with the two. We have two spades again, so we're going to leave it there. Nice more. What's up, bud? You being a good kidder? Pretty big boy. All right, this is not the card that I want uh, there if I'm going to hold one. So we'll just use it now. It's back over here. You know what? I'm going to buy both of these. Why not? Actually, with no discards, I am not going to buy uh, Neptune. Okay, I only have one spot, so Emperor only makes one card. Let us turn the Jack of Clubs into a lucky card. All spade cards are debuffed. At least we're on hearts here, not spades. Hmm. Yo, Captain Rule, thanks for 92 months. Appreciate that. And dang old Zane, thanks for 109 months as well. Here's the many more indeed. Thanks, man. Aces and sevens. We're only getting 1.5, so I think the popcorn is slightly better here. like we're in a high card here. You have four, five, six, seven, so let's just leave it like this. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have two hearts on that, so we're going to put the blueprint next to the ancient joker. Seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack, double club. Well, at least it's a lucky one. Uh, let's go here. Oh yeah, I gotcha, Zane. Thanks for letting me know the name change. I gotcha. All right, King's full. No hearts. A little bit of an awkward uh, setup here. I see even the seals debuffed. Interesting. I guess three of a kind is fine to play here. and sixes, actually fours and tens with the blueprint next to the ancient joker. definitely good yeah interest cap let's go it is the last anti here but still huh 
Huh. You know, I think, yes, I do want this. Minus one hand size kind of sucks, but uh, getting an extra Joker doesn't. What, Sudarion Hearts, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, with the duplicate on Ancient Joker. Let's go. Double Blue Seal. A little curious. Fourteen molt, twelve molt here. Oh, hey, I'm only gonna be able to use one seal regardless. Popcorn starts at twenty multiplier and goes down by two each uh, each round. All right, two pairs a good one for us. We got one heart in there, so I think blueprint on the swashbuckler makes sense. I'm also gonna make the jack and ace bonus cards. Let's leave the three diamonds for the draw. Uh, Daniel Zane, uh, all you need to know to follow this game is the uh, poker hands. So you look at the right info here. You can look up what the poker hands are, and then you score based on what poker hand you play, and then the jokers add multiplier and chips, which make the score of your hand. Hmm. All right. I would like to replace the popcorn. So negative back on the burglar here. What is our boss blind? All cards debuffed until one joker is sold. Okay, well, we can save the popcorn for that. That won't be too bad. So in short, it's a poker, uh, poker based roguelike. So you're just trying to make the best poker hands you can and uh, score as many points as possible as the blinds go up. Roll here. Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to sell popcorn now, and we're going to buy uh, the card sharp. So now if I play two pair twice, I get a huge multiplier on it. We'll sell the burglar on the boss. Is what we'll do. Alright, next store is the final store. Okay, there's two pair. There's suit here, spade. We have one spade. I think swashbuckler is it then. Yeah, Zane, definitely worth a pick up if you enjoy poker at all. Even if you don't enjoy poker, this game's still uh, pretty fantastic. Okay, we're one off the flush here. I'm just going to play a single pair. Not the strongest, but good enough. <laughs> okay. We do have nine hands here, so there's not like a lot of stress on this. Okay, there's Heart Flush. We haven't played any duplicate hands yet, interestingly enough.
Not bad for high card. Hmm. Got three jacks, two queens in the deck, two sixes, zero sevens, two aces. So we're going to play ace, seven, six here. Wow. That multiplier went ham. All right, final final store of this run. Let's make it a good one. Go for uh, holographic plus to multiplier. Okay, let's re-roll here. Wild card, steel card. Steel card's actually probably good here. Devil. One dollar end of round per unique planet card used this run. Wow, that's pretty nice. If it wasn't the last one. Nice, that's a great last card. Okay, so we're going to duplicate the burglar here, and then we're going to sell the burglar directly after. All cards debuff to one Joker's soul. We already received the effect here, so uh, no downside to doing that. I'm going to save this steel card until I'm playing the uh, hand I want. And we're on diamonds here, okay? Okay, we'll play high card diamond. Okay, here's two pair. We got aces and tens with the two. Actually, let's make this two into the steel card right now. So we have 1.5 times multiplier. Just like that. We only have one diamond here. I kind of believe that... Uh, swashbuckler might be the best here. Misprint, potentially better. Pretty nice hand. All right, if we get two pair again, we are in the money. We also have Strainer Steel card here, so let's, uh... Hmm. Okay, we got four nines in the deck still. We're looking at six fives and twos. Sixes is three, fives is three as well. Nothing wrong with playing high card here. Let's uh, let's do this since we have four nines, and we'll keep the steel card here. We might actually win off a high card with this. Uh, I'm gonna blueprint the card sharp, and I think I'm actually gonna move the swashbuckler left, which is less multiplier, but it's gonna be multiplied a lot more. You just have to click on your deck, uh, blue man. Yeah, we can win this off a high card, but instead we're gonna win off two pair, which is gonna be an absolute slammer. Hovering over the deck gives you the uh, overview, and then clicking on it gives you the full deck. But you don't have to click, you just have to hover over it. Boom. All right, cool. That's a uh, red stake on the Nebula deck. I found the Nebula deck to be one of the harder decks uh, to win with on the initial roll through. Spectral cards may appear in the shop. Start with a hex card, okay. What's Hex do? Add Polychrome to a random Joker, destroy all the Jokers. So the first Joker we buy is going to get Polychromed. Seems cool. Uh, we drew a flush here, and the flush has three face cards, so that should be enough here. Let me just make sure we're going to have... Well, let's call this 10 for simplicity of counting. Plus 30, so 65, 71 times 4. No, that's not quite it. So uh, I'm going to fish out for a higher card than a two. 
No guarantee we actually get this, to be fair. Nice. <laughs> Iggy Joker, huh? I don't believe this is the uh, Jokers I want to buy. I'd like something with Multiplier. That's a pretty nice Spade Flush. Oh, we just drew into a really nice uh, diamond flush right afterwards. <laughs> Definitely take that. On this deck, I basically want the first uh, Joker I buy to be a forever Joker. Yeah, this is definitely a forever Joker right here. Wow, Red Seal 2? I might actually buy out this entire store. Gains 0.1 multiplier per planet card used this run, and we're at the very start of the run, so that's great. Alright, I'm going to spend out here. It's a little bit dubious. I like to build up interest first, but... um. Already below getting interest, and Deja Vu is pretty good. She won off a straight flush here. Hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go ahead and add the deja vu to this. It's only a 600 blind. I mean, yeah, I'd like a straight flush, but just a flush is fine, especially with the retrigger here. Five eighty, that was close. All right, well, up here we'll do it. Yo, Slip Zone, thanks for 61 months. Thank you, dude. Oh, snap. Oh, that's tough, dude. That's tough. I think Hiker is what we're going to take here. Every play card permanently gains four chips when scored. DNA is amazing, but uh, it's like a little bit of a slow roll, and we're already on kind of a slow roll with this. Ooh, I bet this gets eight chips. I had to guess. Should be really good. Let's see if we get two sets here. Oh, nice, nice. Let's just fish for another full house. Sixes and tens is four cards played, and I'm not guaranteed a flush draw. So I think this is good. Nice. We got two hands with five cards played for a total of plus 40 chips. I guess actually plus 44 if you add the double in.
I think we just gotta save here. Currently sixes and jacks or four to the heart flush. Also four to the spade flush, dang. I think I'm just gonna play sixes and jacks outright because it leaves me two hearts, two spades. We might have a better um, route after this. Quite a bit of points to be leaving behind though. Are you guys being good kidders or bad kidders up there? Are you being good kidders or bad kidders up there? Good kidders. Certainly nothing bad will happen here. <laughs> well, you know, I feel bad for you, Daisy, but you're like the trolliest animal I've ever owned. You annoy the cats all the time, so... Daisy's also loving it right now. Nothing makes her happier than upsetting the other cats. <laughs> yeah, okay. more. That's not safe, bud. That's not safe. Mm -hmm. What good kidders I got. What good kidders. Oh, where were we here? Well, we got tens and threes right now. Um, I think I'm going to actually fish for that. Now we have ten sevens and threes. Let's play tens and threes with the six. I don't mind playing out extra hands and losing a little bit of cash value here, uh, mainly because. Nice. We're getting the extra chips on every single card played, so playing out more hands, we are producing value. It's a non-monetary value, but it is a value in the deck. Um, flush would be ideal. Okay, Blue Joker needs to be purchased here. We're on a very dangerous knife's edge on this run. All right, we are four to the spade flush, which is what I'm going to shoot for here. Oh, yeah, we're manacles. It's actually kind of dangerous to discard like this. I'm doing it. Okay, thankfully, we did get the flush here. I should have just played the pair out at the start. Not bad. Three, four, five, six. You know what? I'm going to play a high card here. Let's see what we get. What do we have for sevens? We have four sevens and two twos. Sure. Sure. 
All right. Three of a kind is going to have to work. Any kind of multiplier addition will be extremely good here. Create a tarot card when blind is selected. Now we're buffooning. Play cards with even rank give 4 multiplier when scored, plus 15 multiplier when 0 discards remain. I think that uh, Mystic Summit is more cozy than uh, even Steven. Again, in no big rush to finish it out, but this gives me a nice bailout. Um, we can always drop our discards even at the start if we want to. Let's keep the three diamonds in play. We've got 8, 9, 10 jack here. I'm going to go for the draw here. 7, 8, 9, 10 jack. That's the one. If I draw for the 15 multiplier right away, I will lose out on hiker value. So... That's the reason I'm not doing that, though it would generate more money. I think Hiker is going to be how we win this run, potentially. So here I'm going to discard these, looking for a full house, but also activating the 15 times multiplier. Boom, get roasted. Case in point, that would have won right out. Almost doubled the blind. All right, 80 chips if plain hand contains a flush with 50 chips on it. I don't know. I think I might just save here and start trying to build some interest. I think we're at a point where saving is possible. Oil Joker do be good, though. All right, we're four away from a straight here, uh, two ways. We're also a four on club flush. Let's, let's go for a club flush here. That'll do it. I'm liking playing hands that are giving uh, five cards the extra chip upgrade here. Okay, we spade flushed right away. This one's already at extra, we 16 extra chips on that. 27 chips. For that ace. I'm going to go for heart draw. And even though I have the flush, I am going to discard now to activate Mystic Summit. Yes, it is Jimbo stackable, indeed. It will persist for the entire run when they're upgraded. Yo, nice Super Ninja Desu. I've been trying to get that build myself, I just haven't seen it yet. Okay, we're definitely going to be opening Celestial Packs, even if it makes us a little more broke, because uh, we get extra multiplier off of this, which is huge. Yeah, going down to three bucks feels kind of bad. But fair, but fair. Grab two pair here. Not going to be a much uh, better thing to grab than that. Alright, we are four to the flush again. 
We also have two pair uh, queens and twos. You know what? I'm actually going to play queens and twos. Getting back to a flush is not overly complicated. You can get four cards upgraded here, which is certainly not bad. Ah, right. Hmm. Eight spades remain, only one discard, so uh, getting a flush now seems maybe like it's not going to happen. Let's go for full house here. It also didn't happen. I think we're still going to be fine here. Even with high card, we're probably playing all right. Yeah, 54 chips on the ace. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Permanently gain plus one hand per round. Uh, well, I would love to build some interest. Buying this now is good. Because it makes it so... This is interesting, too. There's more hands we can play for Hiker. I definitely want to buy this. As a matter of fact, buy it now. Uh, the justification for buying it now is you get extra gold for every hand you have remaining. So it starts making money right away. Uh, probably a little bit more than the interest, though interest this round be worth two. This also activates Mystic Summit right away. That seems pretty decent, in fact. Alright, I'm going to buy Burglar, and we're going to try to buy Voucher before the boss. But yeah, activating uh, Mystic Summit right away is pretty incredible. Hopefully this still allows me to play enough cards. Yeah, uh, there is a downside to Burglar. We're seeing it. Yo, Zarfi, thanks for almost 70 months of support. Appreciate that. I got you, Petcho. I'm following since August 21st, 2014. Thanks. Are right, we going to buy a voucher now? I'd love to get Jumbo Celestial Pack, but we're just not there yet. We're now at the point I can start saving like pretty much every cent that we make and only buy Celestial stuff. All right, we are one off a flush here, so I'm just going to play a high card. High card still worth 3k. Wow. may consider dropping Hiker now that we're having such a high power spike. <laughs> Gotta do it. I really prefer having interest built up, but I respect that gaining multiplier is a great use of our cash. We'll also feasibly end up being um, more cash in the long run because we are going to end rounds faster. Yo, Walkin' Wall, thank you so much for that gift to Thorn. I appreciate that. Thank you for that big generosity. First hand drawn face down. All right, we're just going to play it out then. Nice two pair. Sick. Yo, walk and walk with the five gifts sub package as well. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate that. Well, 
Well, now you're done goof walking walks. You get to the six. It's all bungled. Thanks so much for your generosity, man. All right. Celestial pack. Yup. Yup. Go for a pair here. I'm going to level up a little bit more evenly. Uh, if we're doing this burglar strategy, it makes sense to do this. Hey, we're finally going to build interest here. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah. The investment tag is interesting, so I could just grab 30 bucks right here. Still think this is better to see more stores. All right, we're going to go for Heart Flush, even though it messes up our pairs here, as we get value on every card with the Hiker. Yeah, even high card probably wins here. I would like the uh, Ace of Spades to be the card that I play high card on, because we can activate it twice, gaining eight more chips. We're at 32 extra chips, so when we play this Ace, we get 64 bonus chips. Wow. Ramen has a good synergy here, because we're not... Uh, we're not discarding at all with the burglar well let's keep this constellation rolling okay three of a kind all i want to do is uh get some interest game come on now Selling the Hiker for Ramen is reasonably good here. I'm going to do that. Like, Hiker's amazing, but it's gotten the most of the value it's going to get this run. Okay, we'll go single pair here. I guess we have four, five, six, seven on hand. We'll keep a uh, 9, 10 jack. pretty good. Six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. That's the one. Do, 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 do. Ching. <laughs> they just won't stop. I'm going to grab high card here. Without discards, or if we're going to keep the burglar, which it looks like we are, uh, I like the idea of diversifying our uh, lower hand level ups. Hmm. Alright, let's play high card. Nine K for high card there. Hot diggity dog. Eight, nine, ten, Jack Queen. Flush was level up better. It's gonna win though. straight. I'm going to buy the death card here as well, so if I can duplicate that red seal, uh, going to be awesome. Vagabond's real cool, but it's not functioning in this deck very well. I don't think. Hmm. 
guess we'll play Parajax. And I'm going to play 1097 to keep Spade Draw active. Oh, yeah. Three of a kind's good. Celestial pack. All right, nines. We'll go eight, six, four. Halfway on the blind, as is. Alright, we'll go for a diamond draw here, then. If this doesn't crush it. I think it's going to be just short. Nope, got there. I think maybe uh, dropping Blue Joker and keeping Hiker would have been slightly stronger here. Ooh. Gold seal's nice and basically pays for itself. Two pair. I'm going to pass on bull. I, I like bull, but it means we're basically not going to spend money, so there's some uh, some downside there. No repeat hand types, it says. Fair. Okay, we'll start with Parajax here, and we'll keep the... Diamond Draw active. Okay, no repeat hand types. Let's just go uh, Talisman on this, and we're just going to go for High Card. Yo, Zach Reborn, thanks for 116 months. Much appreciation. Thank you. Flush will definitely get us there. This voucher is absolutely. Even this late, that's going to be worth it. We're basically saving $1 per purchase, and now we got interest here. Let's go. Ooh, next base edition shop Joker becomes a negative. Yes. Negative Joker is exactly what could take this run over the top. All right, I'm just going to play ace high here because we are four to the club flush. Without discards, we gotta get a little creative here. that one out. Nice. Well, it's going to win either way, so. Debating uh, going for the straight flush there is all the same, really. Hey, Nates are pretty okay. Thanks for 53 months in that prime sub. You got Daisy doing the sprinkler as your resub emote. Awesome. Nailed it. 
Adds one stone card to deck when blind is selected. Alright. That's honestly kind of a weak joker, but uh, not bad. Mm, let's go for flush. Stone cards with multiplier are not inefficient. Oh, let's, uh... I'm actually gonna take death card here, I think. Duplicate this bad boy. I'm getting 32 extra chips twice. That's a strong card. Your player discard always draw three cards, okay? Uh, let's go nines with seven for queen. Looking for a spade flush to finish off here. And probably win just by playing high card, actually. Yeah, 18k there, nice. Ah, uh, yes, we only draw three, I remember now. This high card would win here. Still gonna hold out for this flush, because I can. There it is. Monster Flush. Hey, glad you're enjoying them, Netrunner. Definitely just our first set of anim animated emotes. We did add plus 40 animated emotes, which is an insane amount, but we'll definitely be getting another set here probably uh, a little later this year. It's just the first run. I also enjoy the dancing ones quite good. Hmm. So this gives 18 multiplier, which is more than the Mystic Summit. So there is a temptation here to uh, replace Burglar and Mystic Summit for this. Or just go for 18 multiplier uh, and then take the three hands. I could additionally uh, replace Blue Joker with 18 multiplier, which probably has more benefits here. Though our chip count would be slightly less. Yeah, let's replace Blue Joker here with AT Multiplier. That's a good start. Wheel of Fortune it is. Ooh, yeah. 50 chips on Missing Summit. What a great thing to find right after replacing there. Let's take a look at some Jokers here that we're probably not taking one. Now we're skipping those. Oh my god. Okay, well, we'll skip this one. I would skip this too, but this is the boss, so um, we need to find a store before them. Right, we're going to play twos and nines with a stone card. Cool, looking like we are in position to defeat the 300,000 blind, which is a very serious one. Oh. All right. That was a very poor negative. Last store here. Glass card would be excellent. Three cards to hearts. I'm going to buy that. I mean, it's not like... That's uh, not how that Joker works, Citrus guy. Destroy one card in your hand, add four random enhanced number cards to hand. I'll buy that too. Oh, I see what you mean. You could add three more multiplier there. Gotcha. Still inconsequential. Actually, let's go ahead and 
flush here. Good. All right, sevens and fours with the stone card and multiplier here should be awesome. Should be pretty comparable around 90k. 105, awesome. All right, aces and twos with a stone card. We're looking very nice right now. Yep, any hand will do here. Let's just go ahead and toss this out for funds. Nice. All right, next one is Abandoned Deck. Start run with no face cards in your deck. Fair enough. All right, before we go any further here, if I don't uh, take a quick break and be mauled by a medium-sized animal, also known as Daisy Dew, we'll be back in just a couple minutes for more fun. Just grabbing a quick, uh, quick eating break here. Our food already prepared, thanks to my lovely wife. We'll be back in just a few minutes for some more Bellatro action.
All righty. We have returned. Thanks so much for your patience there. I appreciate it. Let's head back into our gameplay here. Currently starting a run on the abandoned deck. Start the run with no face cards. Uh, during the break there, Shadow Bow 19, excuse me, thanks for 49 months. And Rodigo, thanks for 49 as well. Back to back 49 months subscriptions. What does it mean? It means I'm a pretty lucky guy. Thanks, everybody. Eh. This opening hand is not inspiring. Yeah, we did pull the spade flush. I'm going to keep pulling here, though. Yeah, all right. Very close. Okay, we're going to save here. Oh, right. This one has no face cards. I was thinking we, it's going to be almost impossible to get that start there. Do we start with four each or just a smaller deck? It's just a smaller deck with no face cards at 40. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play two pair to start. Five, six, seven, eight. I just played two nines, so a little, little dubious on that one. So the weakness of this deck is that the... The number of cards score less than face cards, so very often you're searching for face cards in this game to go score. So we got to have, uh, we got to get some escalation. Sure, you enjoy it, Nutty Buckeye. Ooh, okay. Well, it's got to be here. This is kind of tempting. So if we buy planet cards or use planet cards, we're getting money every round, but. We have used zero planet cards so far. So I'm thinking not. That could get pretty stupid pretty fast, though. Alright, we go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's going to be 8 multiplier on the straight, too. So we get the raised fist, double the rank of the lowest card. Uh, so straight with an 8 times, well, 12 times multiplier here. Boom, get roasted. Boom, get roasted. Yes. Okay, we're at maximum interest here on Anti-2. That is very good sign. We're making five extra gold per round by holding here. Okay, uh, flush looks good. Hmm. You know, I'm actually going to discard uh, the two... Okay, we got an 8, because a 14 multiplier flush sounds a lot better than a 4 multiplier flush. Boom, get roasted. Yeah, this actually could be a uh, interesting hieroglyph buy, though I think we don't. Yo, Shuffle Shadow, thanks for four months. You do indeed got them cuter kitter emotes. Good job. Let's go for another level up here. Oh, 
we'll go two pair again. Not going to be a two pair build, but it, as it happens, you're sometimes going to have to play two pair. That stonks pickup wasn't bad there. Let's go sevens and fours with the two. Get ten multiplier on that as well. Hmm. So does this hieroglyph lower the amount on the blinds? So does it move it backwards? Like, do we get another set of blinds like this? It does, okay. I'm debating, um... Okay, I'll try this out. I've never used this before. I'm going to spend 26 here. Leftmost Joker. You'd want it to be the ramen. I guess, well, no, the ramen can't be on the left. But uh, this is going to be adequate. I'd like to start building interest again. Oh, okay. I see. I see. So it literally reverts it to one. That's nice. Going to discard here. Oh, that's right. Four of a kind sevens with the two, getting 18 multipliers will definitely crush. Seventy four hundred. Yeah, we're looking great to finish in one hand for the next uh, several blinds. Ooh. Big voucher here. Uh, well, if I spend 16 right now, that still leaves me 5 to start building back up. And actually, it'll be less than 16 because we have the sale here. Okay, <laughs> plate face cards get plus molt. That is actually a dead card in this deck. How much you sell for, partner? One? Okay, keep that in mind. Actually, let's buy a Celestial pack here, and then we'll sell the Smiley Face to get to the first, uh... level of interest here. There's no way this has a function in the deck. I'll go for the spade flush. Hmm. Don't like lowering the value on the ROM. I just want to make sure I'm winning here. Thirty thirty times fourteen twenty eight. Yeah, okay. I shouldn't have discarded, is what it boils down to. Here is enough to win here. I think Hallucination's a really nice um, joker to buy here if we start buying stuff. That being said, building up interest seems the most important, so unless it's really amazing, I should probably pass. Hmm. 
mean, it's got 1700 with a pair of 10, so this is definitely do it. Yeah, this is worth... Okay, it didn't work. If it did work, it would have been huge. First hand's drawn face down, whatever. Ooh, nice. Ooh, full house. There's a better play there, but it works. Okay, cool. We get the hand back here. Going to wait to buy the voucher till at least we're over the uh, interest threshold. Be a good one. So that and the hieroglyph essentially cancel each other out. Two pair or flush here. Let's see. Okay, two pair is definitely better at the moment, especially since we're getting the better multiplier. Getting 32 multiplier here, then multiply it again. Boom, get roasted. I'm not opposed to standard pack here. Yeah, blue seal six sounds great. All right, let's uh, keep the interest rolling. They above 25 here. Cards drawn face down after each hand played. All right. Tens and sixes with the two is going to be a monster hand. Might actually win out here. Okay, not quite. But it's close enough that I can play any hand and be fine. Fishing for a full house there was probably the probably the way to go. I don't like losing multiplier on the ramen for discarding. Okay. Raise the cap on interest earned per round to $10. So now 50 is the amount we can save up for. You know, I think add the number of times poker hand has been played to multiplier is worth purchasing here. And then we're going to start saving again. I'm glad we added in some more multiplier. Oh, we found that too. Beauty. Don't want to play this six because we get a uh, planet card for it. <laughs> all right, straight flush is not all that likely here, but fair enough. All right, Celestial Packs are great, but let's keep the savings rolling. 
we can get interest up to 10. And if we reach the 10 interest point, we're probably in a very strong position here. All right, so we're going to go fours and fives with uh, eight. Pretty good. Aces full of sevens. All right, 49 here. Let's go ahead and buffoon pack it up. Great tarot card of poker hand contains an ace in his tray. So it's ace, two, three, four, five only. Ten or four. I think we're just going to take ten, four here. Yo, Xano, 6190. Thanks so much for two months. Much appreciation, dude. Thank you. Strength could be good. Pluto could also be good. Well, let's again, let's get the interest uh, going here. All right, threes and fives of the two is definitely an acceptable hand. Nice, we drew that. Six again. Instead of dilapidating the ramen, I'm going to play it like this. We'll get a 16 times multiplier twice here. Yeah. Oh, it was 12 multiplier twice. Okay. Here say I might want to roll here. Let's play out two and ace. I want to keep the ten and the four because the walkie talkie could save our last ham here. But I also don't want to discard. Oh, must play five cards. Okay. Thankfully, we have tens and fours here for the walkie talkie. So each play ten or four gives plus ten chips and plus four multiplier when scored. So we're getting. Uh, 40 chips and 16 multiplier. That's going to be better to copy for this one hand. And I have to play a fifth card as well. Got it. I am absolutely going to buy the uh, petroglyph here. The first time I've ever seen that one. I guess it makes sense because it's the first time I've ever bought the hieroglyph. So now we're minus one hand, minus one discard, but we're getting two full extra blinds. And this should be pretty substantial because we are... We're also at the 10 interest amount right now, so every round we're getting an additional 10 bucks for having 50 held. Uh, okay. Getting a pretty crappy multiplier on that, but it's still a good hand. 90 times 8, level 3. Uh, since it's only 4 multiplier, it's better to duplicate the walkie-talkie this round. Alright, pair of 2s here. Pair of 2s should uh, be fine. We only need uh, 166 to cash out here. 
Oh boy, here comes the interest. Hit me with that jingle jangle. Let's go. Let's go buffoon pack. There's definitely some improvements we can make to jokers here. Mmm. Play spade cards with spade suit. Get plus 50 chips when scored. That is quite good. I think I like this better than the walkie-talkie. It should be more consistent. As tens and fours are only a small part of the deck. Let's go stone card. Ice cream is also temporarily quite good. Alright, three of a kind here. Three of a kind is level three as well. Awesome. Nice hand, man. All right, I now understand and appreciate Hieroglyph a lot more. It's a, it's a nice early voucher. That's kind of a bust. Oh, yeah. Random Joker's tempting. Let's go High Priestess here. Get a couple level ups here. Got Pair and Full House. Nice ones. This is arguably better than the Arrowhead. I'm going to do a roll here, I think. Okay, wild eight. Let's roll. Earn four dollars at end of round. Okay, I'm going to sell the arrowhead. I'm going to buy greedy joker. I am very willing to replace greedy joker, but, uh, oof, look at that. Going to lose some value here on this. Okay, two pairs been played 11 times here. Six times four versus 65 times six with a two multipliers. So two pair actually plays better here. And then uh, we're getting 12 multiplier. Now we want to go here. So we're getting 22 multiplier off the of supernova. In fact, I'd say anytime we're playing two pair, this is probably the best way to go. extra scoring here on that. We just don't get the multiplier as high. Cool. Yo, nice run, Nano. Nice run. Definitely using this. Death and Strength, both pretty strong here. Let's go Celestial Pack. Three of a kind. Two pair. Let's go three of a kind level up here. Rerolls cost two less. That seems valuable. Jumbo Buffoon Pack. I'll take a look at some Jumbo Buffoons. Ooh.
a little bit late for castle, I guess. I do like the idea of gaining chips, though. Let's go ahead and sell the Greedy Joker for the castle. I'll try to make this work. Need to replace the ramen at some point, too. This is off of discards. Trousers. Okay, I'll sell this for trousers. Also, a red card would be... Hmm. No, I want to be able to buy packs. Like, if I take red card, um, it kind of diminishes the strategy I have. Like, we have so much money, and then it makes it we're not really getting much value out of that money. That makes sense. Right, we're going to go for straight here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Not too much point here. I think Trouser is going to get replaced here. How many times have we played straight this time? Only four, so definitely raise fists is the better multiplier. I can actually work towards. Just looking for things that upgrade cards here. Gold card, lucky card, wild card. I'm gonna go for a wild card here. Let's go wild ace. Trousers are very nice. Uh, very nice effect. Let's keep maximum interest rolling here. Doubles your money max of 40. That is worth 40 bucks. We're not going to make 40 bucks this round. Base chips and multiplier are have Indeed. Supernova, because we've played two pair a bunch of times, 13 times. Hmm. Yeah, that base multiplier being halved is a little rough, huh? Debating a discard here of the two to try to get a two five, to try to get a higher multiplier on this one. Let's try it. We've got six eight.
Ooh, four of a kind in the house. Three of a kind is better for us right now. Interesting. How many times has three of a kind been played? Just one. Okay, we're going to play five, six here. I need the highest possible multiplier, so I'm going to give up on the uh, extra card here. Ouch. Oh, I had the wrong Joker there. That's tough. All right, GG on that. Tough boss. It was about as greedy as you can play a single run. I'd do it again. Ooh, this can actually work here. Oh, that's a club. Okay, fair enough. Do it again. I misunderstood. New run. Full house good enough to clear it in one go. Feels nice. Hmm. High Priestess is kind of tempting because uh, it's giving two planet cards, which means you can probably clear blinds better. But I'm not sure if that's better than having uh, interest on this first round. Plus one hand size is also very nice early. Maybe I buy these both. Let's do that. Make straight a lot better. Also, having plus one hand size means it's much more likely we find straights. Case in point. Yeah, in the early game, you're generally looking to finish the blinds as quickly as possible so you can generate the most cash. Uh, Jumbo Buffoon Pack sounds pretty good. I can probably get away with not taking anything here, though. Do have a full house here. Two fifty six. All right. Uh, let's uh, fish for straight here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One more discard here. I just discarded my seven. Then we pulled the six. That's fair. Mistakes were made. Let's play threes here. Eights and nines isn't going to finish it off anyways. Fair. We had that one. I just discarded the wrong card. Hard to turn that down. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Delay gratification. Let's go. It's actually synergy with the burglar, too. We can't buy them both. All right. Our goal now is to not discard. Because we're going to get six extra dollars at the end, which is worth more than having or clearing in one hand. Keep the heart draw active. Hey, that's a straight flush. Okay, well, this is also a direct synergy. We get chips for remaining discard and extra money for having discards remaining. Must play five cards. Okay, will do. Do threes and fours with the two. We need plus 120 chips. Awesome. saving here. That's a flush. The flush with the plus 120 gets us there for sure. Oh yeah. Probably after this set of blinds when we need to have something else. Ooh, all face cards become gold cards when played. If only we had the all cards or face cards thing. Let's buy Mega Celestial Pack here. A three of a kind. And let's grab, let's grab Full House, too. You have 7, 8, 9, 10, and pulling a straight here would definitely be nice. We lose out on money if we do this. I don't think we can afford that. Tens and nines will be all right. I was really hoping to see the... Uh, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. Those sevens and eights, then? See two pair level up in that Arcana pack. Wasn't meant to be, though. I gotta believe that twos and threes make it. It's gonna be barely, though. Definitely does. One... 120 times two. Fifteen? Wow. How about a two-pair one here? Alright. Three of a kind, then. I'm going to buy the Droll Joker and the Swashbuckler. At least we have some kind of multiplier now. That's nice. I'm gonna open standard pack here, too. Holographic, Ace of Clubs, or King of Spades makes tarot card. Let's go for the King of Spades. Because eventually we're going to drop out of the Gladiator application, though the Ace was probably better overall. They play only one hand. Gotta be 
full house or straight. Two, three, four, five. Wow, we're down to one discard. That's tough. We got four sixes in the deck. We have two. We got ace, two, three, four, five right now. Is that going to work? Ace, two, three, four, five. So we only play one hand. I'm going to drop these three. I'm going to keep the straight. Looking for... Possible flush draw. Didn't happen. Okay. This is going to be fine. No? Okay. One more. That run was like right on the edge of going over the top and becoming extremely strong. Gonna try to rock a flush here. Nice. Two ninety six. Hmm. Plus chips is pretty sick this early. Gotta believe full house will get us there. Yes, they can, Torpedo. I agree. Very one-dimensional. Nothing wrong with that build, though. Okay, red card is the right choice for winning the run, but I've already done a bunch of those runs. 13 mole for each held queen. It's got to be ice cream. At least the ice cream allows us uh, savings over the next couple rounds here. It's probably fine. 64, 164. This 184. It's almost, it's almost there. That will definitely do it. I like this guy. Go ahead and take this and we'll start fishing for straights. It's a very early, so... Definitely, I think, worthwhile. Boom, get roasted. to buy Mystic Summit because it's the first um, first multiplier we've seen here. You know what? I'm going to play threes full of nines here. I don't think it wins the round, so we'll still have time to play a straight, I think. Yeah. All right, eight, nine, ten is looking like the straight draw. Six. Hmm. 
Nice one. I'm gonna sell the ice cream before it gets too bad, though. It's still working right now, plus 80. Create a tarot card when blind is selected. Quite a bit of value. It's like basically making three to four bucks per round. The only downside is it's a random tarot card. Go for the jumbo buffoon here. I'm going to take Swashbuckler here. All heart cards are debuffed. Fine. Let's play 8s and 10s with a 4 to start. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay. Didn't realize we were that good right now. Should have just fished for a straight then. Fair enough. Dude, all of our jokers are like uh, plus chips here. I think Odd Todd is extra valuable here. I'm going to drop the ice cream for Odd Todd. Since we don't have face cards, there's way more cards in the deck that uh, are more consistently getting to cards that Odd Todd can proc off. Seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool, we got two straights played here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yo, Xano, sixty-one, ninety. Sorry for missing you, dude. Thanks for that uh, continuation on Prime. Well, I am definitely a fan of popcorn here. It's a temporary bonus, though. Let's just try to save. Hey, not a break 24. Thanks for that prime sub as well. Thank you. Thank you. Two, three, four, five, six. What's runner at now? 60 chips already. Awesome. You love to see it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten is the most likely straight here, and I'm going to try for it. We've got seven, eight, or just looking at a nine here, and a six. Right, fours left. There is. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight, leaves us six outs. And it's foil. Okay. What's this one? Her playing card added to deck. Okay, I'll drop Odd Todd for the guaranteed here. I'm going to start opening these packs now. Okay, straight, we're using that. It's kind of like making interest here, which is an interesting way to look at it. 
Though we lost one level of interest, we gained $2. No repeat hand types this round. All right. I think I'm going to discard, even though I have the straight here. Let's just discard the three, so we can activate this 15 times multiplier. Should allow us to win in one go. Uh, Ratman Jimmy, the satellite is $1 at the end of the round per unique planet card used this run, so we need to play different types of planet cards in order to activate that one. So like, for example, we've already upgraded straight and straight flush, so we want to pick other stuff here. So flush sounds good. And pair sounds good. Now I'll be at $4 at the end of the round. This is tempting for straight, right? Because we've already played seven of them. So it's comparable. I want to buy the voucher this turn or not. Eh, let's, uh... Let's delay this till we have over 25. Yep, stacking permanent effect, exactly. Alright, I'm going to play Aces full here. I feel like we're going to need two hands to win this one, and this isn't playing into a straight, really. Wow, that was a lot better scoring than I thought it was going to be. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten will definitely win here. But I want to flush my discards first. I might as well. What's runner at now? 100 chips. Nice. That's spicy, boy. Okay, that's another one we haven't used yet. Okay, so we've leveled up straight flush, flush, straight, and pair. Three of a kind. All right, I'm just going to buy the voucher this turn. I think it's mathematically better to wait, but... Here we go. Okay, we have three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna play it out now because it seems like this could be the type of situation where we can get two hands played. And if I can level up runner twice in one round, that'd be even better. How are, how are our eights looking? We have four eights in the deck. There's no jacks here, so I think we're just gonna discard and go for the inside straight draw of an eight. We got it. If two, three, four, five, six got us 4,900, then uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine is definitely going to finish this off. I'm a little worried about this build because we can definitely run into a situation where it's we are unable to find a straight, which is tricky. So this, with this card having less uh, in it, it is more likely that's not going to be the case. 
Okay, we're gonna buy and use full house upgrade. That brings us to $7 on the satellite. And we're going high card. Amazing. So two pair is the only remaining upgrade here. Outside of the big hands like flush house and stuff. Decrease level of played poker hand. Okay. It's not a huge deal. They changed this one recently and made it so... Uh, So they changed this one recently and made it so it cannot lower below level one, so you can't go to level zero. I'm going to look for a straight flush here is the play, I think. play fours with a five here. Actually, maybe I just want to dunk this one. Go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really prefer not to D-level straight. <laughs> okay. Fours with an eight. Not unreasonable just to play out the pairs there. Cool. So we didn't get any value on the runner, but we also didn't D-level straight, which is important because we're mostly a straight deck. 19 cash -aronis? You kidding me right now? 19? Voucher, yes. Here's the last card. Now we're getting $9 every round from the satellite. That is bananas. I'm going to check out some uh, Jumbo Buffoon here. Let's go. Flush. Even Steven Multiplier Gain. Uh, what's getting dropped here? I kind of think it's Blue Joker. Blue Joker is a little bit diminished already because it's a smaller, uh, smaller deck size. 40 instead of 52. Okay, steel card's great for multiplier. I was going to play aces and tens with a eight. Okay, let's get the straight now. Three, four, five, six is on deck. We got it. Three, four, five, six, seven. He's spicy. A jumbo spectral pack sounds real cool. Four enhanced number cards does sound pretty cool. Creates a rare Joker, sets money to zero. We could actually afford that. Blue seal adds planet card, add gold seal to one card in your hand. I'm not opposed to rare Joker here and getting set to zero. It's very expensive, but... I did beat the 300 million blind on one Leon, though. I don't know what my craziest runs... 
technically been. Uh, let's go incantation. Open this too. Alright, straight sounds great. I haven't really been focusing on breaking runs. I was trying to get the uh, base victory on all decks. Let's play... Just a pair of aces here. Well, I got 2k for just that pair. Wow. Let's play a straight. We can probably play another one after this, too, and get two levels. Yep. Full house is definitely not a bad hand. Got four, fives, and sixes for days here. Also have some aces in the deck, so let's fish for uh, two, three. Here's ace, two, three. Four, five. Also going to use my last discard here to activate Mystic Summit. Straight flush, sure. Let's go for regular flush. Uh, three of a kind, fine. Certainly not opposed. All face cards debuffed. I have no face cards in my hand. a straight build is like a very fine line on what you actually want to do here. Let's play flush. Like, I want to use my discards and get to uh, the multiplier and find straights, but I need to have discards to find straights. Just the straight flush one, Nightstar. The, um... Okay, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Royal Flush uses the Straight Flush uh, modifier, too. Yeah, that got us there. Ooh, Mega Celestial Pack. Okay, this is interesting, so this is going to allow us to force straight. So I don't have four fingers or a uh, shortcut yet, so do we really want to commit into a straight build? I think we do, because we have runner at 160 chips. Let's go ahead and redeem this voucher. So now every Celestial pack we open is going to have the ability to upgrade our straight level. I think two pair is like a likely uh, hand two. I uh, want glass here. Three cards to spades. Interesting combination. I'm going to buy this. $27, huh? No, we're making a lot of money in between rounds. I like buying stuff. Oh, we got three of a kind here. We also have a pretty decent flush 
Let's go ahead and just play out the three of a kind. We'll keep two, three, four, six. If we get an inside uh, five draw, that'd be nice. I'm also going to play the wild eight out. Okay, aces with an eight and a two or three rather. going to be a really monster hand. Maybe I don't play out the glass cards. I save those. Yeah, let's save the glass cards here. Okay, runners at 170 here. Awesome. Yeah, I'd like some jokers that are actually decent. Thanks. This is really nice. Retrigger each played two, three, four, or five. That's very likely. Hmm. I was going to convert this spade to a spade. It was an idea. Let's go five and five or bonus cards. Permit for 20 bucks. I'm gonna sell even Steven for hack. Straight flush level, yep. I'm gonna roll again here. Ooh, some buy and use. Doo -doo -doo. This is it right here, the vampire. It's a matter of what we replace for the vampire now. Probably hack. I, I like the idea of getting rid of Mystic Summit here eventually, but I need an actual multiplier card to make that work. We have a decent amount of card enhancements here, so we're going to be able to get multiplier on this. It's pretty crappy first hand. Hmm. I don't like playing the fours out because it diminishes my straight possibilities. Uh, I think I need to. Ouch. Well, actually, no, I should be here. Once the once he has multiplier, that is. So we have six, seven, eight, nine. We've already played tens and fours. So getting a ten on the end is unlikely. Four draw is definitely still in here, though. Or five draw, rather. You can play a flush right now and keep seven, eight, nine. Got four sixes, we got three tens. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Uh, mostly because we get the two multiplier cards eaten by the vampire. Okay, what does this change the value to? From seven to nine, that is not 40%, so definitely gonna do that. If I play six, seven, eight, nine, ten here, am I going to get another flush? Maybe. Also, another card for the vampire to nom on. No, I think we're cashing out here. 440, wow. Not quite a cash out. 
Okay, we're going to play fives and nines with the two. We got a really nice value on the vampire that round. We got it up uh, five cards fed to it. Yo, Dark Templar, thanks for seven months. Much appreciation. Thank you. All right. Uh, Polychrome's definitely good. Swashbuckler is fading fast right now. Dude, Leon, Leon, thanks for 124 months as well. Me too, man. Me too. Sorry, I'm late to a mission notification. Do sincerely apologize. I do have a terrible case of humanitis myself. It is true. That's vampire food. Golden card. Two cards to molt cards. Temperance for money. Wheel of Fortune for maybe cool Joker chance. Emperor for two randoms. I think we're just going to take Empress here and uh, go like this. It's 0.4 multiplier guaranteed on the Joker if we feed it. Hmm. I feel like Mystic Summit's still life-saving for us. Maybe I'm dropping the satellite now. It's been nice money generation, but it's not actually functioning very well in the build. Oof. Okay, we have Ace, two, three, four. Not a huge fan of drawing to one card. Though we do have five, uh, five, five, so it's not, um, not unlikely occurrence. Oh, bummer, that one is, uh, unable able to be used. Okay, we pulled the five of spades here. I'm going to use my remaining discard to activate the Mystic Summit now. Pretty good, 37,000 there. Okay, awesome. Uh, planet card be nice. Let's get this uh, fed into the vampire here. Vampire will even eat effects off of cards that aren't being scored. He's just that good. Frickin' riffraff. Yep, aces can go low and high in this game and in poker. You cannot wrap around, though. The 7, 8 are molt cards. Meaning you can't go like Jack, Queen, King, Ace, 2. It has to be Ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 10 Jack, Queen, King, Ace. Bull. Hmm, this is our only real multiplier. Damn, bad though. We're banking on Mystic Summit here, which is uh, weird, but fair. Doubles money, max of 40. Oh yeah, that's um, plus 80 chips there, by the way. Okay, instead of discarding here, I'm going to play... Let's say three of a kind with an eight. Eight, ten. Hmm. 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten is the play. Never mind. We'll play nine, three here. And I might consider discarding to get the straight draw. Ooh, 500 chips right now. That is spicy. Inside drawing to a seven, we found it. So now we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we use our remaining discards, that will uh, that'll get us there. All right, Mystic Summit is active. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And give me those tasty num nums. Yes, allows strays to be made with gaps of one rank. What do I give up for this? I think we actually give up the polychrome lusty joker. Maybe it's Mystic Summit. I don't know. It's a tough one, man. Yeah, it's holographic as well. Yeah, good. I guess it's Mystic Summit, so we're getting guaranteed 10 multipliers. So this means we don't have to waste all of our discards to activate our multiplier. Gotta be. Let's open here and look for uh, cards we can feed to the vampire. We had face cards in the deck, we definitely do this. But instead, we'll do the wild card. Uh, I'm gonna skip. Tempting, right? But it doesn't play with our deck. No face cards currently. Vampire only destroys the enchantments on the card. It does not destroy the card itself. Okay, I still have to play five cards. They can just have a gap in between. I was thinking this was four fingers. That was very confusing for me for a moment. Ooh, hell yeah. I want that. This is interesting. I think here on the last blind, though, I'm just going to save. It's tempting because it allows us more time to... to build up bull value. I actually prefer to have either or shortcut or four fingers. I think they're a little bit redundant. It's certainly a nice combo, I will admit. Boom, get roasted. What's our boss coming up here? Very large blind? Okay. Depends on the depends on the build, I would say, because uh, the upside of four fingers is that you can play four to a flush and a straight. So you can play like uh, four cards of a straight with one of them being off suit and then play a random of the suit you have the most of and get a straight flush. So for just generating straight shortcuts, probably better. But for straight flushes and other builds, um, almost certainly four fingers is better. We're just going to play Hermit here. It's 40 chips.
We have ace two four seven eight ten. We're not getting a straight right now. Fair enough. Let's just do sevens and eights with the ten here. Ace, two, four, five. No, we're still no straight here. Interesting. There it is. Ace, two, four, five, seven. That's a straight. Mega Spectral Pack. I'll check that out. Leap. Yeah, I'm gonna skip on that. Actually, I guess Gold Seal was inoffensive, but it's the last round, anyways. Three Hundy. Wow, look at that, 230, 260 chips. That's crazy. Uh, let's go ace, two, three, five, seven. It's one of the better chips based builds I've had. I'm just going to play two with the four here and nine. Feed the Joker the multiplier. Still good. Still 60,000 on that. Wow. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, one more hand here. Let's just make it fours full of nines, huh? Flush would also have been adequate. I just like feeding that vampire, man. Awesome. Alright, another red stake down here on abandoned deck. Let's go to the checker deck. Actually, checker deck already has even the green blind done. And we're on the Zodiac start run with Tarot Merchant, Planet Merchant, and Overstock. We get extra cards and extra Tarot and Planets available. Just regular deck of cards it is. Definitely want to try to finish off round one, which is full house or a decent straight. All right. Didn't happen. I think I should still play ace high here and then go for uh, full house. Didn't happen, but 10 jack, queen, king, ace also wins round one in one hand. All right. Very tempted to buy Space Joker here. I think I will. Space Joker, one in four chance to upgrade level of played poker hand. Dude, what's with these draws early here? Nasty. Well, 9-10 Jack, Queen, King will be good. Only one king, but two queens and two jacks. So we'll drop king and these three. 
Looking for two pair or better here. Nice, two pair leveled up right there. Love it. But actually won the blind that hand for me. Oh, here we go again. The old satellite. Let's go for even, Steven. We want some stuff that's actually going to level things up. Now we're one off a straight here. Queen or... Queen or seven. Either way, too. So let's drop like this. True. That is two pair. I need the eight. You know, I'm going to go in on this uh, straight here. Yeah, per usual, getting burned on that one. Straight flush is there. Just play this out. A little bit rude. Well, seven, eight, nine, ten jacks gonna have to do it. Pretty brutal draws. No straight leveling up's great. Stuff looks nice, but I'm going to go ahead and just go next round. I'm looking for good jokers or interest right now. I do have ace, two, three, four. Not nothing. Let's discard. Well, it seems like uh, getting spade draw is getting more consistent than pulling a single five. Ten Jack, Queen, King, Ace, or Flush. Let's go Ten Jack, Queen, King, Ace here. It's about as good of a scoring hand as you can get in a single. Four of a kind. Ooh, Riff Rap. Here we go. Riff Rap will make jokers for us. Riff Raff is, in fact, fantastic. There were four to the flush draw. Let's go for that. There it is. Yes, you could turn this into a high hand build. That's fair. Hmm. I'd like to get value out of the riffraff. Well, oh, this is one of the better common jokers for sure. Mad Joker can go. You know, I'm going to drop even Steven as well. We'll make room that way. Admittedly, that pains me a bit, but here we are. All right. Aces just got more valuable. Only three to the flush draw. Outside straight on 10. Eh. I think I'm going to play Kings with six, seven, nine. This will give the uh, raised fist a plus 20 multiplier here. Something.
two pair being leveled up probably makes this worth it. Nice. These guys can definitely go. I can consider replacing Riff Raff here shortly. I'll level up full house, why not? I like going a little more evenly distributed on buffs in general. Because it's nice to go in in one hand and have a huge hand, but you're not always going to get what you want with that. Lucky Ace. I'm going to, well... The second part of this voucher is really good, so I'm going to buy that. It's the, the one after this gives you plus one Joker. Yo, Citrus Guy, thanks for 90 months, and that's 77 Street. Glad you've been enjoying the Blotra, dude. Cheers. As the number of times Pokemon has been played to multiplier chip, plus 150 chips, it contains four of a kind. Well... I'm going to play out 10s here with a 9-4 and fish for the diamond. I don't mind just playing pair because we can get uh, upgraded there. Should be a nice flush draw. Uh, King, we to see your multipliers. You just click here and look at this row. Nice. Jumbo buffoon pack? I'm kind of a jumbo buffoon. I might be dropping Space Joker now if I can get something out of this Jumbo Buffoon pack. Frankly, just buying Celestial Pack is fine too. Let's go Celestial Pack. We're going to get our Joker slots filled back up, though I think we're reaching the point in this run where I definitely want to start getting some better Jokers. Uh, Riff Raff will fall off here shortly if I'm not careful. Um, Three cards in packs next door. No. Get another look at Jokers here. Okay, Mystic Summit red card. Holy crap. Okay, that's uh, that's good. Okay, let's go tens and threes with a five. We like legit have a build now. Ten Jack, Queen King, Ace. Let's uh, toss these discards to activate Mystic Summit. Let's not toss the 10. That was almost bad. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drop Riff Raff. Hmm. Actually, we can get one more round out of Riff Raff here. Let's drop Mystic Summit. High Priestess, absolutely. Two great planet cards. Three of a kind and two pair. Those are very likely hand types. Okay, so now when we open packs and we turn down the content of the packs, we get plus three multiplier. This is a very sustainable way to spend money to gain Multiplier. Like, really, there's not much better things you can spend money on than gaining Multiplier in this game. So, uh, that allows us to do that. Swashbucklers, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, well, there's two pairs with aces. 
I'm going to go ahead and play that out here with the dead three. Okay, we have ace two, three, four. How many fives left in the deck? We've got four fives in the deck. Eh, I will fish here. Okay, we did draw the five. Eh. You know, twos and tens will finish this off. for common uh, jokers. One of the better ones. Mm, three of a kind. I'm going to pass on the jumbo here. Let's level up flush. Probably straight as well. And we'll let the interest roll. I'm not going to make any room for riffraff here. Uh, Space Joker and Riff Raff are both on deck. Ooh, next base edition, Shop Joker becomes negative. That means we can put it, put it in here regardless of how many Jokers we have. That's cool. All right, I'm going to go aces and threes with no off card. We'll keep five, six, nine, ten for straight possibilities. We got five, six, seven, eight, nine, or six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're also four to the spade draw. Let's go a five, six, seven, eight, nine. We get better value out of the raised fist, doubling the ten instead of the five, and we keep the tens together. Let's see here. When blind is selected, gain 0.5 multiplier and destroy a random joker. Oh my god. That's pretty good. With the riffraff, that's incredible, in fact. Hmm. Okay, uh... I guess the problem is that it can eat riffraff. But we are able to generate pretty consistent value with it. Madness does not destroy itself. Temperance for 10 bucks. Let's actually skip here. No, we're going to buy Temperance. Then we're going to open the Mega Pack with that money. We're going to get one planet and then skip to add to a red card. The reason I'm hesitating here on uh, Madness is we already spent value on the red card. So it's like, uh, it's pretty sketchy. Very nice flush draw. Okay, each played spade, seven of spades gives multiplier when scored. Obviously, spades are our best suit for this run or for this hand. Flush is level five right now? Wow. We got seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try to make that work. Oh, 
Oh, seven of spades. It gives you a specific number as well. Okay. Fair. Emperor's pre taping. Let's skip for multiplier. All right. Queen of Hearts. Yo, Dan Giesling. Thank you so much for that raid, dude. Hope you all had an amazing stream with Dan. What a great entertainer he is. Thanks so much for sharing, uh, Dan Giesling. Hope your stream was awesome today. We have queens, eights, and nines on here. Uh, I think I'm going to play just out queens. Well, maybe actually I fish for that queen of hearts. Let's leave that active with two pair here. Oh, hard to compare, Dan. It's definitely a very good game, though. Uh, I think uh, overall for roguelikes, well, I haven't experienced all the content in this game. It's got, I don't know, maybe like 100 plus hours right now. I don't think that this game has the same replayability of some other roguelikes, but it's not like I'm saying that it's not complete or has uh, very, <laughs> it's still uh, very robust. I'm going to guess probably 150, 200 hours for me when we're all said and done. Not a complaint. There you go. Top 52 game of all time. I'm a little torn on what I want to do. I have 9, 10, Jack, Queen for a straight, which is fine. Let's go ahead and fish for that. All right, there's the king for the other side. Do I play this out now? Or do I discard looking for this queen of hearts? I know getting one card out of 36 seems dubious. If you uh, skip a match, Master Chops, you get a tag, which has uh, various effects. The main tag I skip for is the negative Joker tag. Let's just get this crap out of here. Uh, let's keep the four. Two pair seems fine. Let's do one more discard here. I think one thing I was excited to think about with Bellatro, I mean, they could just add another 100 Jokers to the game, and it would uh, still be the same core with more dynamic possibilities. Definitely one of the most complete games to have released in quite a while. It's not happening. That is to say, the foundation is excellent. Okay, we got the negative Joker tag again. I accidentally uh, skipped that one last time. We're going to pick it up this time. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's dump out the low end of this hand or raise fist possibility. Seven, eight, nine. Three to hearts, three to spades. Brutal. I'm just going to play a regular old pair of nines. I'm going to play nines and eights with a four. I feel like we're ahead of the power curve right now, so I'm trying to get some value out of Space Joker. I feel like Space Joker on this run's only procced once or twice. Yes, that's a good tip, Nugen. Thank you. Uh, 
<laughs> That's a little trolley, a little uh, holographic banana there. All right, I'm going to sell Swashbuckler for Abstract Joker. As an additional bonus to Abstract Joker here, uh, we are going to get a negative Joker on the next tag. So it's going to be 18 multiplier, which is stupendous. Gonna keep skipping for multiplier here. This run has like a very nice feel, like it's gonna gonna go all the way. Start with zero discards. Alright, I'm gonna play threes with a four jack, so we keep uh seven, eight, nine active here. Joker order matters in some cases, uh, like you want your multipliers on the end most of the time. Okay, ten of hearts. Dang. Okay, let's play two pair here. The four. There's also other interactions which are important. Okay, if we play out this, what's our full house level? Full house level is two. Three of a kind is level three. What about flush level here? Okay, flush is level five. And by playing the flush, we make our lowest card the jacks. So we're gonna get 20 multiplier off the raised fist. I think this just saved this run. Okay, same reason here we're playing flush. This was way closer than I thought it was going to be. Ooh. Okay, well, at the minimum it's giving 20 chips here, so we're certainly going to buy that. Time to start thinking about replacing Space Joker here. And permanent gain one hand, sign me up. Alright, let's just go in on some spending here. Uh, let's level up straight since we have the runner now. And then skip for multiplier. Yo, Rob's bad. Thanks for 53 months. Appreciate ya. Thank you. Boy, it feels nice to have discards back. Okay, what do we have here? Six of hearts. Now, aces full of kings. At level three. <laughs> Full house is technically worse here. All right, I'm going to play Queens with a four. I'm trying to raise the multiplier on this full house. I want it to be more than more than that. Ugh. Don't want two as the last card here. Brutal, man. OK, this hand's awesome. We're going to play three aces and we'll play three kings. Kings full of eights. So slightly less multiplier. We get to score two more cards. The chip counts higher. Uh, Zordon, you kind of need both. Um, it's a little bit complicated, but saying like times multiplier is better than regular multiplier isn't necessarily true because it depends on the interactions of what you're getting. This has been very hard for us to activate, though. So I'm going to sell it here. and I'm going to buy a uh, swashbuckler. Where the multiplication uh, jokers get powerful is when you stack them on top of each other. 
but even then they still need base multiplier in order to be effective. That's a little better. I would love to play at least one straight here with 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's play out the queen here with that. Dang. Like our multiplier is awesome, but it's not it's not popping right now. I wonder if we're sixes and fives. We got three fives, four sixes. Uh let's play nines and eights with a seven. Four, five, six, seven, indeed. So four to a flush draw, and flush is one of our better hands. Four to a flush twice. Okay, two eights, three threes. I'm gonna go for it here. Okay, we got three, four, five, six, seven. This should score very well. It improves the runner, gives us more chips, and then we get a 20 multiplier from Raise Fist. If I can replace the Space Joker with a Joker that just gives flat chips, we're going to be slamming. Ooh. All right, we're going to sell Space Joker. We're going to pick up Ramen here. This two times multiplier loses 0 0.01 multiplier per card discarded, but essentially that's going to double the multiplier we're currently receiving, which is definitely good. Uh, Constellation is all right, too. I'm going to try to build a little more interest here so I can actually open some more packs for red card. First hand is drawn face down. Probably going to play one and discard one. Not bad for high card. Let's go ahead and just play the other one too then. Yeah, to explain why Swashbuckler is before Ramen, uh, how you make this estimation is you look at the amount of multiplier provided on Swashbuckler, whether it's left or right. So um, this is two times multiplier. So in this position, this is 22 multiplier. And in this position, it's 14. Man. I think I'm going to drop Raise Fist for the Blue Joker because chips get multiplied by our multiplier and our multiplier is much stronger than our chip count right now. We also no longer have to fiddle with the... Uh, the Joker there, which is nice. We do have five, six, seven, eight, and I would like to level up the runner here. Uh, even with that, I don't think I can turn down two pair. Discarding loses value here and here. This is permanent down, though.
I really feel the difference adding those chips in made. Wheel of Fortune, easy. Nope. skipping for more red card. It's been a very interesting run. Uh, I wouldn't say it's overall been very great, but we've kind of strung it together, which is nice. Okay, we're going to go full house here because we get the full scoring value on all cards. Even though the multiplier is slightly worse, we're getting 20 more chips. All right, sevens and threes with a four, easy. Plus one hand size. We skipping. Something I like about red cards, it does simplify a lot of the decision making in your run. So far for me, red card has won every single run I've used it on. This might be the exception, though. I'm not convinced we're winning this run. It's a good build, but it's it, we're at the mercy of our draws. <laughs> Three times two pair. Wow. Did anybody see the, um, the Space Joker proc at all while we had it? I felt like it only proc maybe once. Uh. Oh man, plus one Joker slot. We have time to activate this. We do. So do I want one more Joker here? Or do I want to buy High Priestess, use one, sell one, and buy the two packs and gain six multiplier? That's a tough uh, estimation here because the plus one Joker slot, we have to delay our gratification until we find another Joker, which will give us uh, whatever the effect of the Joker is and then plus three multiplier on the abstract Joker, where right now this is a planet upgrade and six multiplier. All right, we're going to go to the next round here. We can't buy a Joker this round, so it doesn't make sense to do that. We'll buy the voucher and a Joker at the same time if we're going to work on it. Wow, well, was straight fire. I agree. Imagine a little hot dog on a stick. You just roast it right on this multiplier. Wouldn't that be tasty, guys? Wouldn't that be tasty if you had a little hot dog on a stick there? Mmm. Oh, dude, this is amazing. Retrigger all cards played for the next 10 hands. I would say easily for the last blind, this is probably one of the best jokers we could have gotten. That's going to win this. Ooh, it's the very large blind. We're so lucky we got this. So lucky. Well, I'm going to fish for a straight year. Shouldn't have done that. I'm going to do it again, though. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah, all right. We just need 10 hands. So I can, if I, as long as I play two hands here, it's fine. Or I could play up to four, I guess. This is totally safe. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's more like it. 180 times 14 versus 110 times 14 with better triggers. Straight it is. This should this should be it. All right. I'm definitely concerned about this 300,000 blind. Okay, yes. It's like straight might be our win condition here. If I can get like a 10 jack, queen, king, ace, uh, straight early, looking pretty good, I think. We are four to a flush right now. We also have three, four, five, six. Flush level is six as well. Oh, man. Well, it's a lot more likely we pull a flush than it is we pull a straight. Oh, we're in trubs here. Only 50k for that? Oh, yikes. I think we're done here. Unless. I think if we could have pulled off maybe five or six more straights, this would have been a win. As is, though, it's not. And that's all right. A pretty fun run overall. Another thing that could have been better, uh, if we managed our money uh, slightly more efficiently, we could have easily gotten another 25 multiplier or so on red card. Or, you know, just got any other blind would have also worked. All right, good run, good run. I will right, we'll roll that one again on the Zodiac deck. Excuse me for just a second. Uh, I'm just going to use the restroom real quick and refill my water, and then we'll head into another Zodiac deck run.
All right. Here we go. Oh, I got straight flush potential here. Do I actually want to drop this right now? Let's just do a little quick maths here. Let's just say 40 or so. So another 75 times 4. Yeah, that's good. Quick maps. Ooh. Definitely like this voucher. Hallucination, it's way too early for. If I buy Jumbo Buffoon here, I'm not going to make the voucher. Just let this ride. You could see maybe getting a cheap Joker and a voucher. Alright, two pairs just not what I'm looking for here. It's a fine hand, but we want more. I was lucky what that was. Alright, this is not a cheap Joker, but this could be insane by the end of the game. Wow. Is the holograph jo hologram joker better than adding one hand per round? I think I think it is. It's early enough we can focus it. And it also has foil. If this didn't have foil on it, I'd be very dubious on that pick. Alright, I'm gonna take faceless joker here. Must play five cards, no problem. Four, five, six, seven, king, king. Hoping I'm going to be able to discard three face cards here. Oh man, I just realized the all cards are face cards thing here would be so good. Hey, thanks, Judge Mephesto. Glad you're enjoying them. I right, played a very dangerous game on this one. No, we did ma manage to make 10 bucks. That's huge. Technically 12 bucks if you account the interest in. Plus one hand size is pretty good. This voucher is nice too. Okay, one of the best things we can do is add uh, cards into our deck. Preferably face cards for discarding. 
Can I afford both of these? I can. Wow. Okay. Well, I would add a face card, but holographic gold seal? Shut the front door, dude. Gonna copy probably that one, the stone card. Okay, we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten here. Is six, seven, eight, nine, ten going to score 800? It might. So it's going to be six multiplier with 30. Plus another 25, 40. Not quite. Good hand, though. Okay, we've got three twos here. So we're just now going to discard. Actually, do I want to duplicate? I want to duplicate one of my special cards, I would say. Unless I draw two face cards, and then I want to get another five bucks. Yeah, all right. Let's, uh, let's convert this five of diamonds into a king of clubs. And then we can discard here again. Making 15 bucks off the Faceless Joker there is pretty sick. Standard pack. And holographic cards are awesome. Hmm. You know, I think I'm going to go in here. I'm going to buy the voucher, too. Got a really weird set of jokers right now. Sounds awesome, Bezdev. Would love to see that this uh this run. Two pair just crushed that, okay? Careful. Wasn't expecting to win that quick. Fair enough, though. Steel card, sure. Straight played face cards. This is kind of anti synergy here. Increase poker level of played hand, indeed. already level one so there's not really a downside here i think if we as long as we don't hit a lusty joker here we're gonna be fine yeah okay gonna keep the eights here let's drop six four let's drop four ace actually we got six seven eight nine ten I mean, let's duplicate this because this card is nuts. Then we might as well fish out here for this. We can just play a high card and then it's going to be plus 100 chips and plus 20 multiplier. 
yeah, so that wins the round for sure. So what we want to do now is just try to get more face cards. There it is. Yeah, we're going to play 9 high card, 30 multiplier with extra 100 chips. One of the best early high card uh, hands I've ever seen. 15,000 high card. Gimme that. Ooh, we got to max interest too? That's ridiculous. Calm down, sir. Extra hand, yeah. Uh, jumbo standard pack, y'all. All right, we're gonna take the face card here. Jumbo spectral pack. <sighs> Creates a random rare joker, sets money to zero. You know, I think that's fine. Hmm. All right, a little bit of a disappointment there. I guess I can discard here looking for that six to make a spectral card. I'd rather use my uh, discards for face cards, though. Yeah, it would, Galgamac. That would. You ain't wrong. Definitely going to do it. This Joker gains plus eight chips when each play two is scored. Honestly, I think I'm dropping the six cents here. Maybe for Wee Joker. Maybe I just save here, too. Go for a save. Free Mega Standard Pack. Nah, I don't need I don't need free anything here. Oh, if first hand is a six, create a spectral card. Let's play it. two copies of one selected card in your hand. Let's find that stone card again. Be careful here. Three of a kind, is it going to be good enough? May I may be forced to use the cryptid earlier here than I want. Yeah. Mercy? 
That's Mercy right there. With the holographic to carry us. Alright, let's make sure this is correct, though. So, this is 45 additional. No hearts there. Let's play the heart. But playing the heart here will definitely do it. Actually, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 with double hearts is even better, because then we get 4 multiplier. Okay, I'm confident this wins this round. Because it definitely does. One in three chance for played heart cards with heart suit to give times two multiplier when scored. Okay, misprint is big time here. I think it's time to drop the faceless joker. Well, no, I'm gonna drop six cents. I'm going to go two pair, maybe even high card here. And two pair. Runner is good, but not good enough. Let's take Arcana pack. Oh, yeah. Okay, turns into hearts, random joker, diamonds, steel card. Uh... I think I'm gonna drop the heart joker or judgment here. <laughs> All right, game. I mean, you know best. What do I know? This is the guy playing the game. All face cards drawn face down, so we know these three are face cards. We again know these three are face cards. God, I really just want to draw the stone card again. I want to win off of that. I could also make duplicate this holographic nine is not a not a bad play. Just play our hand here. Oh, snap. Misprint uh, is quite good. Better than I was imagining it was going to be. I didn't see what the multiplier we gained on it was, but enough to win on two pair. Okay, Temperance, absolutely. Plus one hand size is pretty redonkulous right here. Eh. Uh, blue seal, I suppose. Mega Arcana Pack. That's us. Yeah, I was, uh, I was hoping... We were gonna get that stone card in the showing, but we did not. Let's try this again, huh? Alright, plus one discard is interesting. I'm gonna take, uh... Well, maybe not. So, I could death card the gold seal and then cryptid the gold seal again. I think death on the gold seal is, uh, fine. Let's buy this, and I'll use it after I play the Cryptid out. That shop was awesome. There it is. Actually, hold on. If I duplicate right now, we're going to overload on the hand. We know we're going to win off of this, so let's, uh, let's keep the sixes active and discard here. Okay, keeping this in the hand at the end gives us, uh... 
good use case. One, two, three, five. Come on, face cards. There they are. Oh, nice. We can play out the queen for more gold, too. Okay, here we go. We're going to take this. We're going to use it. Oh, yeah. Use this now. So we're about to make 15 bucks on this one hand. That is quite literally happening. I think that's the coolest hand of Bellatra I've played since I started playing. That was awesome. That was awesome. You know what? What the hey, man? Let's go. I have no incentive to save even more here. Might as well buy out the entire store. Maybe even use one reroll here. Grab a pair level up. I like diversifying the level ups. That's just my own strategy. Also perfectly valid to go all the way in on one uh, one type, but I found diversifying. You don't always get the one hand you want, so. Oh, dude. Okay, I feel like the money generation is already out of control. So I'm going to replace Faceless Joker with the Midas. And we'll make gold cards out of our face cards. It's a pretty uh, comparable value. And uh, we're getting to the point where I don't want to use all my discards to make money, I guess. That's my point. I think I play fours full of tens here and then hold the uh, this card. Do I care about making bonus cards right now? Kind of. I'm going to be a little bit cheesed if this wins outright. Well, it could. So this doesn't say when scored, it says when played. Let's do this. Okay, I'm glad I didn't play that. The amount of planet cards we bought this run is insane. They do keep golden, yeah. That's a permanent effect. Uh, flush. Take a look at our run info here. Dude, look at that. Beautiful. Reroll. Destroys up to two selected tarot cards. Uh, okay. Don't mind destroying some of the lower value stuff in the deck. Yes, Vampire would be ridiculous. What we'd like to get is the combo of Vampire plus uh, all cards are face cards. That'd be uh, endless worthy.
Let's um destroy four two. I'm gonna play sevens with a ten jack or jack queen king. And gold them up. I play the stone card. Uh, okay, I say we're gonna win, so. Yeah, you kinda have to sell that one at that point, Kirvidar. Definitely gonna buy the voucher. There's so many jokers that are just better than what we're using. Our joker set's actually kind of weak, but our card quality is through the roof. Let's go three of kind here. And flush. Flush is now level five. Go for pair. Doubles your money max of four. You know, we don't actually want to do that. No, no. All right, so we know we have the win here. We're just going to fish out some face cards. I'm actually going to discard the steel card here as well. This is played in scores. Okay, well. Maybe should have played that before. In order to play the king two, I'm going to play king queen here. We'll go two pair, uh, and we'll get the gold seal back. So we're losing $3 on this. We're converting one more face card to a gold card. When round begins, add a random playing card with a random seal to your hand. Alright. Plus two hand size, minus one hands per round. Oh, man. Getting spicy in here. Sure. How many of our face cards are golden right now? We've converted almost all of them so far. Okay, I'm going to drop plus one discard for certificate of authentication. And I feel like I want to drop Midas Mass now for Troubadour, but I'm not sure if that's true. Maybe I drop plus one hand size for here. Plus, hand size has a lot of benefits here. The reason I don't want to drop Midas Mask is if I end up getting Vampire, this run could just, like, it could actually go endless, and we could go for uh, a big one. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna drop Juggler for Troubadour. It's still plus one hand size, which is our, I think, best stat. All right, so we know we have a win. Oh, Hologram's gaining multiplier on this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Chariot is steel card, okay. I'm gonna do the old pair of queens here. Get these converted to gold. I think converting the face cards is more important currently than playing the seal. Let's make the nine of hearts a steel card. Yo, Tabish, thanks for 13 months. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you, dude. That is fire, you're right. All right, Wheel of Fortune, let's hit here. Nope, okay. Wild card, lucky card, sounds good. Let's jump with Jumbo Buffoon. Just really looking for vampire here. Holographic hack. Stone card to deck when blind is selected. Ooh, that's more multiplier value. If I'm not mistaken, we've converted uh, all of our base cards. Dang, dude, this is tough. So if I add this one in, I'm gaining a half percent multiplier every single blind. I guess at this point I probably dropped Troubadour for that. I'm still extremely uh, hopeful we're going to find Vampire here and have a massive multiplier conversion. We go. Okay, let's do some conversions here. Too. Wow. Two cards to bonus cards, three cards to clubs. So we're just going to sell that one. I'm going to play a pair of queens here with a nine for the steel card. I actually want to remove value from the hand. NK right there. Okay. Seems crazy to discard, but that's how it is. All right. Whether I play or keep this, it's worth $3. 
Uh, bonus removes the gold plating. I'm just going to use this here. Okay, here we go. Voucher, you bet, man. You betcha. You betcha. Okay, tower and sun. Sun can get sold here. Let's buy out these uh, planet cards. Okay, death is the one we want here on this one. Let's convert this to. That's the one. Do a reroll here. Hangman's great. We can remove some cards. Holographic Scary Face. I'll do one more. Uh, we got one more roll. Ermin. Okay. Make this into a stone card. Um, I'm going to destroy eight nine here. Yeah, that's fair, Torpedo. My thought was I'm really not playing the uh, the face cards. Was my thought. Destroying here does not lower the multiplier, no. This fool give us here. Ooh, hanged man again. Hmm. Pretty spicy misprint there. There's another card which gives you multiplier for cards under 52, and that one does matter if you add or remove. Tempting. I feel like it's time to drop Midas Mask. Let's go for this first here. Hermit looks okay. Uh, removing some cards looks good too. Let's remove cards. Yeah, all our face cards are gold right now, but... If I get the vampire card, this becomes uh, incredible. 
So I'm like, I'm trying to <laughs> justify keeping it. So it's definitely better for this run to replace right now. Wow, play gold cards earn three dollars when scored. That's also pretty nice. Also pretty nice. Come on, vampire. Wait, one more roll this round. Hang man, I'm gonna buy that. Ooh, all cards are considered face cards. Okay. Okay. So while it is lowering the multiplier here, I'm going to sell Marble Joker. And then we're going to buy this. Really, really hoping we get Vampire. So if we get Vampire, this run pops off in the hugest way possible. Let's do steel card. Uh, I'm going to destroy three, six. Actually, I'm going to destroy this stone card here. I think right about now, an ethicist is when we do that. Okay, pair is actually worse than high card here. I think this might crush it, though. We'll see. Okay, it's a little bit much. I wonder if this is going to convert away from stone when I play it. Probably is. Okay. A little nice uh, thing to have in the pocket. One more roll, this blind. That's expensive. All right, we're done re-rolling for now. Like, I don't really care if we win or lose this one at this point. I'd really just like to... find the vampire. That'd be it. Casual 27 gold for my gold cards there. No big deal. All right, reroll boss blinds. Probably important. Like, if we get the anti face card one, yikes. Polychrome. All right.
This is more consistent. Last one. All right. That's pretty good. Oh, they're all aces. Interesting. I think it's a little bit unlikely that we get... Uh, oh, nice vampire here, unfortunately. Plus two multiplier for every five dollars you have. Hmm. Let's replace the abstract joker with this. And let's go next round. We'll do a couple rerolls per round looking for Vampire. This should be rather uh, consistent, I think. Actually, discard here. Yeah, we're really hoping for Vampire here. It'd be the ultimate conversion. fire. That is pretty good. All right. This card's two random cards per hand play. That's fine. Oh, awesome. How many non gold cards are even left here? Only like four. Okay, so we can probably get rid of the Peridolia now. Seems fine. Three of a kind definitely wins here. Uh, let's get this ace converted. Do I fish for more or just go like pair of aces here or high card even? Go high card. Plus one hand per round, sure. That's it. 
We're going to stay above 100. How about that? Random card, random seal. That's it. Should have played this one, the gold seal, fair. An open standard pack. We're getting multiplier value off of this, so definitely not bad. Okay, no vampire. Okay, I'm just gonna play this out. Yeah, that's what we're trying for, Nighty Buckeye. Should have played the gold seal stone card there. Three times multiplier on final hand of round. I mean, honestly, that's pretty freaking good. We could also just start building up multiplier here. My hesitation is that I want these two together when I get vampire and replace the certificate at that point. So I don't want to give that up yet. I'm looking at like the, the maximum possible high roll here. if it will give it to me. Okay, very large blind, whatever. We're going to try Endless after this. We only have a little bit of time to actually get Vampire rolling here. Okay, I'm going to destroy this card. Last roll here. All right. So I think if we weren't going for maximum greed, uh, this run... Uh, well, it had some chances here. Let's just say that. Like, to go quite high. Because we could have built up a lot of value on bootstraps. I bet this run could have got to a thousand gold.
But vampire, though. It'd be so broken. We need to roll the boss blind here. Nice. Last roll. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Like a little chain going here. Only one hand type is around. That's fine. We can do a uh, high card. Silly. Damn, plus forty nine, though. That's better than bootstraps. <laughs> Dude, we've, we've emperor, we've pool card like uh, emperor like five times in a row here. I'll do one roll then. got moved. I was like, why aren't we scoring as well? That's definitely why. We got big difference there. That is one way for us to eke out more hands, technically. this. Okay, another discard. Fine. It probably wasn't worth it. We're not even discarding here, but maybe one day we will. Okay, it's a negative. Why not? Two. Use that after death.
So I think if I could do this run again, uh, which I may never see this run again, is I would try to go for the bootstrap strat and then go for the uh, gold gained on playing of gold cards. I think we probably could have got somewhere in 1200, 1500 gold range on this run. Overall, not displeased with the result here at all, but uh, just waxing philosophical about something we could have done differently. Ah, that's good too, man. Why aren't you a vampire, though? Oh, this also works with uh, the hologram. It's time to drop Midas Mask now. I'm going to take this. <laughs> Rocket. Oh, man, this would have been sick, too, earlier in the run. That rare as well? Come on, where's my vampire, dude? Pluto's definitely worth here. Last roll. Bear. Oh, now I can also drop this, too. Yeah, I think maybe dropping a certificate was slightly better here. I'm pretty much over this run now. But we're going to play it out for sure. There's a better way to do that. Four fingers, okay. Yeah, we have seen almost every Joker of a Vampire. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Nice. Wow. Cool. Last reroll here. All right, I'm going to sell Certificate and use Judgment. It's totally going to be Vampire. Close. This is definitely the most broken build of Bellatra I've had yet. Been a fun one. So if we would have found Vampire, every single one of these gold cards could have been eaten for 0.2 multiplier. So the Vampire would have been at 15 or so multiplier, which would have been pretty cool. So I also am now seeing that a build like this could just go bootstraps and uh, just ma amass cash for Multiplier 2 would have been uh, a very valid strategy and I think would have cleared the next blind. But as is, it's going to fall short on Anti-11 when it's uh, what, 30 million blind. It is fair to say, though, that... Uh, This had a chance at going very high in the blinds. 
Okay, well, that's actually really nice. If I would have focused it away from Vampire and into uh, other, the other side of the strat. Yeah, yeah. I got excited because I thought that was Vampire for a second. It's not. Oh, wait, this is really good, though. Really good. Okay, not three in a row, that's fair. I guess actually we can use that. One more roll, please. One more roll, please. Um, I'll give up this guy for a chance at vampire, sure. Okay, here we go. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so we're going to play uh, high card here. Yeah, we're quite past the point of caring on this run, is the truth. Okay, if I get this build again, I'm going to go for a money strat rather than the vampire strat. Awesome run. Okay, plus two hand size, minus one joker slot for the painted deck. Sounds good. All right, y'all. Uh, I'm going to stand up, stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some water here five hours into the show. Uh, our ads are also about to play. Flip this play. Thank you so much. Do appreciate it a lot. If not, totally understand. Regardless, we'll be back in a few minutes for some more Bellatro.
All right, we clear. Let's go for it. I think that uh, this deck is pretty powerful because plus two hand size is a pretty major effect. And while having less uh, Joker spots is uh, a little detrimental, you can get some good synergies with with that. So this is three, four, five, six, seven enough here? I don't think so. We got 10, 15 to 25, 55 times four is not 300. Four sixes will do it. Hmm. Square Joker. I'm going to buy Square Joker. Square Joker on round one should enable us to do quite a bit of stuff. We're really only going to play hands of four now so that we get extra chips. I think first store uh, Square Joker is pretty strong. We'll see how it holds up on the red blind, though. One potential downside of this strategy is that we are playing more hands means we're making less money. Dang, dude. Yeah, I don't actually want either of these right now. on a run that's only going to have four jokers having uh, a joker we can we can boost up is pretty good all right if i don't get another joker here it's gonna be a little weird all right that gives us a really nice out that's tempting too Yeah, that foil is going to make it so we're not struggling here for a minute. Might even consider just playing a uh, high card. Nice. Already to 56 chips on the square joker. That's pretty good since it started at 16. That's really sick, too. We don't need it yet. So right now, if we drop our our re discards, we're definitely going to just completely destroy the uh, the blind. So after this, I'm going to... Oops. After this, I'm going to discard and then activate the Mystic Summit. And play a four-card hand, so Square Joker continues to scale. Yeah, that's fire right there. 3k, two pair. 
what is the next blind here? 1600 okay so we just had 3800 on two pair it's a good two pair but uh i think we just roll out here almost ready to add another joker probably the start of the next blind is when we do that oh okay no discards on that one so mystic someone was active right away would uh definitely help if i was reading the tooltip Ooh. All right, Spacey Joker doesn't actually add any multiplier. But does give us opportunity to upgrade these hands. High card and pair and two pair. Looks like I should probably drop my discards now. Now I can play one more hand like this. Let's go here. Okay, now we're going to drop discards. Well, oil Fibonacci is uh, definitely not bad. Let's go ahead and do this. It gives us uh, some more outs. Okay, this is Ace, two, three, five, eight. Well, two, three, four, five, six would definitely do it. Let's just play out some four hands, and we'll probably end end with the straight here. If we draw an ace, we'll do ace, two, three, four, five. There it is. I gotta drop discards. Oh, yeah. Okay, that could be all right. I like my jokers right now, though. Let's just start getting to the interest level. Cards drawn face down after each hand played. Okay. So it'd definitely be to our benefit to get our final hand set up. And aces and fives will certainly crush it on two pair. So we're just going to play out some high hands now. Ooh, that was close. Um, looks like we're going to get it anyways.
Okay, fives and twos is also like a crazy good two pair for Fibonacci. Uh, the second joker is a 1 in 4 chance to upgrade the played poker hand on the run info list, so the levels here. I'm going to toss discards here just to be safe, though I'm pretty sure fives and twos would still just win here. Could play full house here too, but then we lose out on a, a square joker proc. I'm gonna try to keep rolling for the, the whole game here. We're already at 124 chips, started at 16. Pretty good. That's tempting. Buy a celestial pack here. Pair two pairs, my top two right now. What is the blind here? Play only one hand. Okay. Go for some twos and fives action on that. Oh, yeah, it says eights, so we have eights and fives for our final hand if needed. Let's just play some pair here. Might be looking to replace the space cadet here shortly. Ace two, three, four, five is also quite good. Alright, now we're going to drop our discards to activate the 15 on Summit. And then 8s and 5s. Emperor sounds cool. Devil and Star. Mm. Yo, Grummar, thanks for 62 months. Appreciate that five plus years. Thank you. All right, play only one hand is pretty spicy. So we're going to try to discard uh, looking for... Keep ace here and eight and five. Ninety times eight. Maybe I just uh, keep this. Because we are going to get the 8 multiplier from Fibonacci, 15 multiplier from the Summit, and then an additional 140 chips. Before we play that, though, let's do some discarding. Another ace, interesting. Almost a royal here, let's go for it. And Jack Queen.
Hmm. Constellation is rather tempting. I think it's time to drop the... Drop the Space Joker. But we're still performing here on the blinds. Yeah, it's only... Uh, that's tough. Leave it be for right now. It's like, what do I replace here? It's got to be the Space Joker if I do that. It is better than Space Joker. Getting any kind of multiplier is going to be adequate. All right, we have eights and threes here, which are both part of the Fibonacci. So let's just put these on the end. Play out some hands. Nice lunch break. Cool one. This is almost certainly better than Constellation at the moment. I don't know, this is permanent though. I'm gonna check out this buffoon pack. Yeah, them ain't it. Pair of threes is good for Fibonacci. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten is a possibility here. Let's just go for a pair with a two. I'm very curious if we're gonna be able to win the game off the square joker here. Okay, threes and eights are definitely good. One hand now, let's not do that. What's full house at? Level one. card, molt cards. Let's go ahead and use here. Hoping for High Priestess, but alright. Make the eight and the three bonus cards here, or molt cards, rather. Then I'm going to use Fool. Make another one of those. No repeat hand types this round. Alright, alright. So probably don't want to go two pair here. Almost a flush right now. Let's actually go for a flush draw. Is this on five? It is on five. So we got a pair of fives and a three right now. Let's go three of a kind sevens with a nine. Not 
bad. All right, aces and fives is our in hand here. So now we play pair. Closer than I thought I was going to be. Oh, I didn't get rid of my discards, is why. Yikes. Ooh. Alright, I'm going to drop Mystic Summit here for Trousers. We're going to try to play as much two pair as we can. Here's fine. Go flush. Really fortunate store right here. Okay, full house is also counts towards trousers. Nice. Also, don't have to worry about managing our resources now either. Okay, let's go for aces and nines here to start. Ooh, that's too hard to choose, Shirelia. I like the plasma deck. I also like the checkered deck a lot for um, just having fun on a run. Fours and sixes. Well, unless we can pull a really low pair. Queens and tens is it. So let's try to get a lower pair here. Ace, two, three, four right now. Straight probably wins two, unfortunately. There's threes. Okay, we're going to play threes with a four five. No, that's going to win. Let's go ahead and do this. So we get the two pair trousers leveled up. Pairs level seven right now, it's pretty nuts. Well, no pairs. I don't want to play high card here. We're at 30,000 blind. Let's go ahead and play uh, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen. Actually, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King. Good start. I'm not following your comment, QT. Eight, nine, ten, Jack, Queen. It's probably worth it. Actually, we're 25 right now. Let's try to get a two pair. All 
Alright, there it is. Arcana pack. Could be High Priestess. Boom. Gotcha. Thanks for the clarification. Uh, next round. All club cards debuffed. Alright then. Pretty good, man. 14,000 there. We do have a flush on hand with a five. I might play that out. No, let's go fives and sevens here. It's been a really cool uh, four four card build. Enjoyed this one. Fibonacci's been a little bit weird, but it's gotten us there. Got us this far. Four of a kind does not count as two pairs for the trousers. Uh, full house will, though. It's got to be two separate pairs. I'm gonna try a spectral pack and see what we get. Converts all cards in hand to a single random suit. Add negative to one random joker, minus one hand size. Okay. The ability to buy an additional joker here is transformative. We're only playing four four cards per hand anyways, so. Talk about amazing. Almost makes our two pair too good here. Let's play a uh, let's play a high card. Yo, Nelderberry, thanks for 24 months. Appreciate that. Thanks for the two years of support. I'm pretty sure on the four of a kind thing, anyways. I think uh, we saw that um, yesterday. Three Mega Celestial pack is pretty freaking good. That's another point two on multiplier and levels up. Eh, I'd rather see a store. I'd also rather play cards here because we get some nice bonuses. Let's see what high card is playing for here. Or that's not high card, that's pair. Dang it. Life's hard when you're a human with a brain. <laughs> That's too... Uh, it's not too much. There we go. Got one more upgrade here. 240 chips on Square Joker. We started at 16 on this run. Incredible. Double Celestial Pack? Sign me up for that. Okay, high card.
All face cards drawn face down. All right. Holy crap, that is a straight flush natural. Gonna play the non straight flush and we'll finish off with that. <laughs> Maybe not. Like, if we can just win with high card, that's even better because then we get more uh, benefit out of the. Square Joker. Okay, what blind did we get here for blind eight? Doesn't say. We do have this as a bailout, though. Let's buy us for bonus cards. Okay, very large blind. Noted. We're going to have to be efficient here on the last blind. I'm going to save the Hierophant for just such an occasion. I can also choose to re-roll the blind by buying the voucher here. Three hundred K is a lot. I feel like with pair being level ten. We're set up okay on this one. I'm going to leave it. Let me just play out like an actual hand here and we'll see what happens. Like, what does two pair look like? What does regular pair look like? Ten... Okay, so one pair is better than two pair for us by a bit. Okay, maybe I am rerolling this blind. Because I think if I don't reroll the blind, I'm essentially at the mercy of the game giving me uh, the Fibonacci pairs. Or that could happen. Okay, so I've got to leave myself 10 bucks here. Negligible. On Fibonacci. Cool, perfect. Forces one card to be selected. Perfect. Frankly, we can play any cards here. We can just win off of high card. Or pairs, for that matter. So we got Square Joker all the way to 280 chips on this run from 16. Nice. Definitely not an endless mode run, but uh, a good one nonetheless. One shot at the painted deck. Feels nice. After defeating each boss blind, gain a double tag. All right. Balance chips and molt when calculating score. Oh, yeah. Plasma deck's amazing. Let's go for the anaglyph deck. Keep them coming. Kings full of fours would clear this. Fours full of kings, I'm not convinced.
All right, I'm going to play high card here, so I want to draw into the full house if possible. That should do it. Hmm. So the double tag I want to create is negative joker. That is the, the highest potential. Fine, I'm going to play pair here. <laughs> All right. Pretty rough. The nice scoring hand right there. Ace is full of jacks. This one came back? Listen here, bud. Really nice start. I'm gonna fish for a straight here. Hand contains three or fewer cards. I don't know about that. At least saves us on this round. I think those rerolls are going to be pretty costly. Oh my god, really? I mean, I'm not complaining, but like... Already saw you twice in the store, bud. You can get out of here now. I didn't buy you the first two times. There's a reason. Son of a gun. This guy. Pretty nice joker, though. Wonder how high card performs here. High card's gonna win. Here I'll be even better. Oh, high card was better here because we get the multiplier. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ooh. A little anti-synergy there, though. These two together are pretty nice. Let's just go for it. I don't think this is a good choice, but it's the choice I'm making. Skip blind. Okay, here we go. Next three jokers are negative. Hopefully we don't get a, like, a very expensive double joker in the next store. That'd be unfortunate, but also fair.
Oh, I see. We're not getting the bonus there. I think we're a bit hosed. It's fair. All right, fair enough, fair enough. All right, everybody, it was some fun Bellatro today. We're going to be back at it tomorrow, almost certainly for some more Bellatro for our Sunday thing. But thank you all for the great time, wonderful company, awesome conversation. It was cool getting these runs together. We had that really awesome golden card run. Um, I think tomorrow we should be able to get through the remaining decks here on Red Stake, and then we'll be up to Green Stake, and we'll go from there. But thank you all for the uh, questions, comments, conversation. Appreciate all the support as well. Thank you all for your subs, bits, donations, follows, Patreons, coffee, all that stuff that makes this place full-time and no frills here in our 12th year. Uh, just appreciate you all very much. Discord for updates as always. We'll catch you on the flip side. Looking forward to it already. Take it easy.